<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the absolute shit show, the show match of the century, the thing we have all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you today the show match between America's Honey Badger, representing Team Confed, Ooh. and the UK's Pride and Joy. It is Volticus, representing Psystorm Gaming. That's right, is it Cyanogatramat? Cyanogatramat. Cy Cy I'm just going to Cy leave. All right. Y'all have a good match. <laughs> Right, All right. We're off to, yeah, we're, we're off to a good start. Yep. Production. Yep. Half an hour late. Forty minutes late. And then you call <laughs> me Psystorm. Jesus Christ. Yes, indeed. Anyway, Cyanic aftermath of Volticus. Um. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's uh let's get into gear. Uh. So we're gonna be playing a best of seven today between these two captains of their um respective teams. Um, they're both Diamond 2 Terran players, MMR within, a, what, 200 of each other, 300 of each other? I'm 41, 42, what are you, Volt? I'm 400. No, okay. Okay. So yeah, within 200, yeah, which is, isn't that crazy yeah. of a skill gap in Diamond 2. Um, it's, it's definitely there, but I think that's, that's really what, just like a two-day, I had like two days better than you had, you know, when it comes yeah. to StarCraft, unless you guys are plateaued there. Um... But yeah, let's 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 hear about you guys. Let's uh, why Honey Badger? Do you think you have an advantage in this show match? It's easy. It's because I'm American, obviously representing the greatest country in the world. God damn it! You saw my reason. I was gonna say because I'm British. I'm European. I am so. Yo 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 yo. European no, mastery, not, man. No, dude. Look, okay, let, let's take. No, whoa, 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 no, no, look you at can't. Dottle, look at no. Dottle's hair. He's trying his best for the production here. He's American, but look, our our pictures, our video feed is frozen. Is it? Yeah, I just was about to PM to you. But hey, man, who is Duddles? I there don't even know who Duddles is. Oh, it, now, it's, now it's super weird. <laughs> oh, no. What did I do? There. He's clearly there not there accurate. <laughs> accurate <laughs> oh, my God, there's vintage and Brotel underneath. Yep. Just randomly. <laughs> oh, my God, the face is just flicking through. <laughs> I can't anymore. To, I can't. You're trying your best. And we're just All right. Shit. Uh, so, production value. clearly, you know, Duddles, if no one knows who Duddles is, he's not an accurate representation of anyone, so. Yeah, you can you can hardly say that I'm I'm the real deal here, guys. Uh, you, you try at least, you try at least, yeah. we'll Put give you all the in. love in the world for that, but the real hard work is going to be between myself and Honey Badger here, my respectful opponents. Absolutely, oh, I, couldn't, I couldn't agree more. Um, so... Uh, let's let's talk about like just so people can kind of get to know you a little bit more and hear. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to get super. We're not going to go really in depth. I'm kind of in a time crunch myself as well. Uh, but what what? Uh, how long have you been playing StarCraft and what do you think your advantages are, uh, Honey Badger? Go. Hold, hold on, I got a quick quick joke. Hey Volt, okay. what's the difference between the tea bag and United Kingdom? What's the difference between tea bag in the United Kingdom? And what? You had to ask a question like this. What's the difference? No, no, that is that is the question. What's the difference between the tea bag and the United Kingdom? Oh, the tea bag in the United Kingdom. A tea bag. Oh, eight. Fine, a tea bag in the United Kingdom. Hmm. I wonder. One's made of lots of shitty bits of tea in a bag, and the other is made of little shitty bits in a country. A tea bag stays longer in the World Cup. Ouch. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, when he compares it to a country like England, which has won the World Cup many times and <laughs> created the sport, hmm, what's America done? Has America ever won the World Cup? I don't know. I Did don't you, think so. Did I, you say England created England created soccer? Is that yeah. what you're saying? W World Cup. Oh, the World, the just World the World Cup. Cup. Soccer, Not, I I would have to look that up. Um. Anyway, but neutral source here. Sure, maybe. Who knows, guys? That sounds reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chase would be neutral, thank you. <laughs> At least we qualified, says Vintage Crispy. UK coming in the burn. With the oh, burn. Um, <laughs> Alright, so Voltic. Oh, actually, no, I guess. I guess. Uh, do you even want to answer that question about, like, oh, this is who I am? This is how much I played StarCraft? Or, I mean, yeah, just uh, we, can get, we can give a quick. Uh, so, my name is Steven Honey Badger Flanders. I am from Team Confed. Uh, I'm the current captain and on the admin team, and uh, I like to talk shit. So, here we are. And my name is James Flint, also known as Volticus. I am a captain of a CTL team that doesn't cheat and didn't get kicked out. Oh, and are currently that's love. first that's place love. in our group. Oh, well, Confed. Pa oh, paper champs. Paper, 
Paper, paper chips. champs. Hold paper on, bring up the champs. bring up the stats. Four uh, two. Four two. Oh seven. Oh seven. Well, hey man. Zero zero map score. Just just to moderate a little bit here in between, Confed was essentially undefeated before uh, the the DQ. Yes, happened. it was. I can accept it was four zero in the first. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it looked like they weren't going two. anywhere, but uh, uh, yeah. a four two win over your team. What was it? And then Sia, you got four. Storm? Your team, Sci Storm, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. What, te what shitty team are you on again? <laughs> CTL6? Uh, CTL6. Yeah, CTL6. Yeah, Guns and Roaches? Man. You guys choke in the playoffs? Oh, that's team, right. Team you've you never are. made it. You've never made it to the playoffs, if I believe. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, Sonic Aftermath been in for three seasons. First two, they, they were there, they were getting the fields, and then they brought in me, the big guns. The UK is to crush number one in our group ahead by a whole set point to the most competitive group groups that don't have uh, i'm pretty they don't have their captains just drop out at a moment's notice i'm pr pretty sure we spanked everyone in that group so you did you did Sonic aftermath was on the rise there after week five boom there we go yeah there when, when, when aftermath, you take out man. the real champs man you know that's what happens the paper champs gonna come forward and <laughs> paper that, champs is so good <laughs> gotta take that fucking flimsy <laughs> crown you know, oh, man. flimsy paper crown. Well, it is approaching Christmas, so I'm stocking up all of them, and I'll definitely be sending you one in the post, and they'll be right hey, hey, on it. Not... Oh, there we go. Never mind. Oh, for some okay. reason it went over to Loki's channel. Oh, that's weird. Um, it's probably the beta. Uh, let me just turn auto host off, and we'll. Um, so, what's your next question, Duddles? Uh, so, how Come long on. have you guys been playing StarCraft? Oh yeah, the I... first question. <laughs> Uh, go ahead, Volt. You can go first. Oh yeah, so uh, I've been playing StarCraft since, God, like seven, eight years old. When I like you go around, you play in these flash games on these shitty websites, and I found the StarCraft ones. Instantly, like tried to look at what, what's this game. Found the StarCraft Brood War. Fell in love in the instant, man. Best game ever created. And then StarCraft Two, even better. Yeah. Cool. Um, I started back on the original. My uncle had a Mac. You know, those big bubble Macs with the multiple colors. Uh, the iMacs, whatever the hell they were called. Anyways. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I started on that. Um, I started, I've always played Terran since then. Um, and I picked up, I never played Wings of Liberty online. And then I played at the end of 2014 with Hots. I was a perennial gold player. And uh, took a break. And then I came back and... I've been playing probably pretty steadily since 2014. Cool. Somehow I'm all diamond. I hate myself. You hate yourself. Yeah. You'll hate yourself more after this match, son. Alright, nah. yeah, so I think some people are having some issues because they also saw that. Um, yeah, just gotta, just gotta refresh the stream. <laughs> Loco is more important than us, clearly. Just shut up. The feels, not the feels. Okay, um, so uh, let's let's I guess let's go introduce. Well, let me introduce myself really quick um, and kind of explain how this is going to work. So my name is Duddles. If you don't know, I am um, I am a terror. Like the fact that I play StarCraft is completely irrelevant. It's obviously I think more important that I I do some tournaments. Um, so I'm here as a neutral. I'm here essentially as Kira mentioned earlier as Switzerland. Uh, uh, between these two teams, uh, just because I don't have a bias, I don't have, uh, you know, I don't have a dog in the fight, if you will, despite being American, uh, but also Vol Voltkiss being on my toes gaming, whatever, but I'm pretty much here to moderate, and I'm observing, um, but I'm not, I, I might, like, do a little bit of casting if they're absolutely missing something, but the casters are going to be not me, uh, despite that usually being my role in these sort of events. Um, so this is going to be a best of seven again, StarCraft 2, Terran versus Terran, Diamond 2 versus Diamond 2, UK versus the USA, um, and without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce the casters. I'm going to get rid of you guys really quick. Um, one sec, let me, give me, give me a minute, guys. This isn't, this is, uh, <laughs> bye, Duddles. See you in a bit. All right, let me get you guys way down here. Cool. And, um, yeah, let me hop in another Discord real quick and let's, let's introduce our casters, okay? Oh my God, this is so unorganized, guys. Sorry. Oh, I'm already in there. Hi. Hey, hello. Rooktail, Vintage. How are we doing? Hey, what's up? What's up? Um, so, 
Sorry that I don't have them on video right now just because of technical issues and making it more complicated than it needed to be. I just have Broketail's picture and Vintage Crispy's picture. Hope you guys are okay with those images. But uh, Broketail, <laughs> representing Team Confed, uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Um, I don't have, uh, well, I've only cast it a few times, but I think this will be pretty easy. I just kind of get to sit back, watch my captain destroy Scrub. Should be pretty fun. <laughs> That's good. Okay, and uh, crispy. I know you're not on Cyax, but um, but tell me, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know that you're you're a uh, you're a caster in the UK and uh, friends with Volticus. So uh, what what? Why do you have um? Why do you think Volticus is gonna win today? Well, he's been practicing with me, obviously, and I'm one of the greatest talents in the entire country. So. Uh, that's that's obviously how it goes. No, I'm, I'm joking. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, you know, if uh, if history is anything to go by, one Englishman is worth about twenty Americans. So I think uh, we've probably uh, got a got a little bit of an advantage going into this, and uh, it, I don't know, it should be fun. We're going to see some tr truly English genius here, and uh, just you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say. Uh, regarding the World Cup thing earlier. One, at least we qualified. I said that in the chat, but we qualified, <laughs> America didn't. Go fuck yourselves. And have the US ever won a World Cup? I don't think they have. Nope, nope. The f we, we play real football. Ooh. Yeah, you're the only people that actually play the game anyway, so who cares? Because yeah, <laughs> nobody else can keep up. It's like you took rugby and you, you realized rugby was too much for you, so you had to like cover yourselves in armor and helmets and stuff, and then it's like, <laughs> okay, this is fair, right? Yeah, well, well, that's a lot coming from like someone who's from a country that's obsessed with being refined and such. Hmm. This is like high, higher. This is like rugby to a higher level. Rugby to a higher level. Guys, I feel like a better comparison would be if we were fighting over um, cricket and baseball. But again, trying to be a neutral party here. Trying to be a neutral party. Oh, I don't care for cricket. But what has got? got Nobody even knows uh, what cricket is. Yeah, I, I had like that, this. I, I had this PE cricket teacher. Cricket I had this PE teacher in elementary school who like tried to t who was like British and she tried to teach us uh, uh, cricket and everybody hated it. We were all miserable. <laughs> well, it's the wrong weather. It's, it's the wrong weather for cricket, obviously. Um, and I mean, it's it's fair to say that any game invented by the English, the Americans hate anyway. So, I mean, it's not like we invented half the sports around the world. <laughs> Y'all uh, did invent yeah. ping pong, though. I am grateful for that. <laughs> that is a good. That is a good one. We uh, everybody tennis, appreciates it. Cricket invented football, real football, not none of this NFL shit. Real football. <laughs> Sorry for the typing, guys. And obviously the uh, the uh, the most excellent sport ever ever conceived ever croquet. I mean that's like obviously. <laughs> the fuck is croquet? Who even knows? Okay, so um, I think we're almost ready to hop in. Um, make sure this is all set up correctly before I completely blow it, which it looks like it's not. So, you know, again, best best stream quality 2017 NA, guys. Um, there we go. Cool. Voltic is picking Catalina. Wow. He has got balls of steel, and that is why he's going to 4-0 uh, uh Not Brotel. Honey Badger. Yeah, he's, he's got balls of steel. Balls of steel? Yeah. Only a, ma a real man would pick Catalina in a Legacy of the Void TBT. <laughs> <laughs> Only a real man. I don't know. Wide open space is just going to make it that much easier for Honey Badger to walk over and crush him. <laughs> right on, guys. Um, I think, I, just so we know, we're doing kind of vetoes, uh, letting us know Catalina is first. I think we're about to hop into this game. Hopefully we can get this uh, speeding a little bit quicker. Am I the only person who isn't a diamond player in this party? At least. Vintage, are, are you, are, what, are, what are you on UK? On UK? I should, since when do we have our own server? I'm Not, sorry, our own on server. EU, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm diamond one. Diamond one, okay. Yeah. So I am the lowest when, rank here. When, when Britain Batman. pulled out of the EU, they got their own StarCraft server. That's actually, that's actually why Richie put in leave to get his own server. <laughs> he can be number one GM, finally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they did Gameheart. Thank you. Looks like anybody having the lobby bug? No. This is all, all good. Right, let's do this. Oh, 
Everybody ready? We're ready to chat. Is the chat ready? I see only Lord of Terrans pretty much talking. A little bit of Junior Star League going on. Um, Lord of Terrans, one of the uh, the only supporting vintage Shibi subscribers. I just I just watch stats like understand like how much hype and like effort was like built into this for such for like for like twenty viewers. It's kind of impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty good. Oh, no, don't get me party host. Okay, I guess I'll start the game. Yeah, I should have party host. Um, I am the moderator after all. Um, so, by the way, guys, I will probably well. be muting myself. Um, I'm letting y'all take the thing just to kind of go over with y'all and everybody else in the chat. Um, y'all are going to be the main two casters, okay? I'm going to be trying to observe what y'all talk about. I may pipe up every once in a while just to be like, okay, so wait, what are y'all talking about? Um, and just to make sure I'm seeing the right thing. Um Usually I do casting and observing at the same time, so it's kind of a new thing for me. Uh, so sorry for any hiccups in the first match that happened. Uh, I think we'll get the, get the swing of it, though, okay? Sounds great. Beautiful. Well, it'll probably take I'll us be a couple following games just to work out what's All going right. on. But uh, we'll get there. You should probably make yourself ref, too. I'm going to give you ref, too. Um, just don't chat. Don't type anything in chat, you know? Uh, but just because I think you have more experience in this than I do. Uh, just in case if I end up, like, we have to pause a game and some, a quick, like, Okay, they're both go, go, go. Okay, three, two, one, let's get it going. Uh, oh, Undaunted in chat. Hello, Daunted. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of, mostly support for our boy Volkus here, because he's obviously the far more popular uh, accomplished Terran player. <laughs> Captaining the Styx Academy team. All right, I think we are Getting to it, guys. Let's have a good match. All right. Right. Uh, well then, spawning in the bottom right in the green, the greatest StarCraft two player ever to touch a mouse and a keyboard. Representing the Sci X Academy, it is Volticus. And spawning in the north, the beautiful American, muscles rippling at his keyboard, ready to destroy his British adversary. It is the amazing parent player, Honey Badger. Volkus <clears throat> uh, here, I think, probably has the worst spawn on Catalina possible. Um, for any matchup, so obviously that means he's gonna win because he he succeeds with adversity. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Uh, there's a lot of room behind that natural that mid range mineral line for uh, for things like banshees to move around for liberators potentially as well that you that you wouldn't normally get uh, with the other two spawns, um, but just because of the way the map's laid out. But that's not important at the moment. The important thing at the moment I think to say is that Badger's opening up with two barracks and a yeah. second gas on one base on Catalina. So I'm pretty sure it's safe to say. He's gonna make a lot of Reapers. <laughs> That's what it's starting to look like. Which if Volkis has listened to anything that I've said, he should be fine, because he'll make one Cyclone, <laughs> and that will shut it down. See, this is actually kind of surprising to me, because I was talking to Hunter Badger earlier, and he was saying um, that macro-wise, he's like super confident right now. He feels like his macro is really, really strong. Um, but maybe he's expecting... Um, Volticus to think that and it's like some sort of mind game thing going on and so uh, he's gonna, by doing this he's gonna put him off his game for the rest of the series there's like a couple there's like a couple tvt is a bit weird like the same the thing with every mirror matchup is there's always a lot of mind games right um the big thing i think to say is that you know how, about, no matter how good your micro is catalina fucking sucks for tvt <laughs> right so so I'm a, I'm a zerg player explain that to me well so there's a lot of uh, basically the map wasn't uh it's, it's, I mean, it was never great for TVT, but I mean, the, the fact that there's so much open air space, there's so much room to move around as well, kind of makes it awkward to play uh, Marine Tank versus Marine Tank. Uh, Doom Drops are really easy to pull off on this map just because of how much open space there is. Um, and because it's a three player map as well, there's a lot of RNG that comes into it. And also, because the Reapers have uh, 
the grenades now. I mean, Mass Reaper always sucks on this map, but it's specifically now because of the cliffs into the main base, those large cliffs. For, the, for every reason you hate it in ZBT, it's, it, it also sucks for TBT in a certain respect. Um, it, it's just, I really am not a fan of this map at all. It's, a, it's really open. I, I mean, I think maybe maybe this is just from my, my point. I hate it. I like playing TBT on close, on smaller, more confined maps because. Uh, just because of marine tanks, but uh, I mean, mm -hmm. well, all right. Let me let me uh, stop you just for a second because we're already getting some action earlier in the map, um, early in the game. Um, at the beginning, Honey Badger a little sloppily lost uh, a Reaper, but then took one right. Yeah. And then shortly after, um, Voldic is realizing what Honey Badger was going for, got out a Cyclone, which basically shuts down Reapers unless they get like quite a critical mass. Um, yeah. But Honey Badger realizing that his aggression is pretty over, has expanded behind it, and they are both moving towards a macro game. Yeah, so here's the thing, right? So with um, the modern game, if you're gonna do this kind of this kind of mass reaper stuff to kick things off, you need to proxy it because it won't hit fast enough. That if your opponent works out what's going on, he can just build one cyclone and shut it down. Like you can see these cyclones, like so you see these reapers rather, just kind of barely denting the cyclone here and it just machine guns them down mm -hmm. um and of course Volkis has two of them and you usually get a cyclone out early anyway to just play defensive against this kind of the stuff you know it, it works fairly well against any kind of proxy rights marine reaper or otherwise um, yeah so and, I, and unfortunately that early aggression did put honey badger at somewhat of a disadvantage but he's going to have a second timing coming up pretty soon as his stim is way 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 ahead of Voldekiss so he's gonna have quite a bit of time to do some damage I mean Volt's gonna have a tank <laughs> that's all I have to say um I don't, tanks are just they do they're so good at shutting down aggression um nowadays like even if you even if, if Volkis were to move across the map with a bunch of cyclones like all these cyclones and honey badger were to have a tank they would do nothing a tank would just would just shut it down so if uh, I mean a, sc a scan here will reveal that Stim if he's paying attention the sim just finished, mm -hmm. um, and that his opponent hasn't got any tank production on the way as well. It's important to note. And I think Volk is realizing this wants to move out, but actually Honey Badger is going to go for a cheeky drop here with Stim. And actually, I think Volk is just f doing everything right now. Wants to try and put the hurt on, which could come to bite him a bit. Yeah, but I'm not sure Honey Badger has anything left at home. Um... Oh god, yeah. There's no way he stops this push. Base trade game one, let's go! <laughs> Honey Badger needs to drop right now. Yeah, All right, he's coming in. I mean, you could argue that actually dropping sooner might actually hurt him because Volkis can then keep this tank at home that's about to pop out, which would oh, true. help him shut it down. So look, Volkis is already aware of this drop, so he should rally. Yeah, he's rallying the stuff back. There's a tank about to pop out, there's more Marines on the way. He should be fine, he can go and mine on the natural, and if we look at the force here for Volkis at the front, there's only this bunker here. Oh, honey badger the first tanks only just started here as well and here we go the siege has begun honey badger investing super heavily in the economy trying to prepare for that late game and he's up quite a bit in workers so the longer this goes on the better position he'll be in but Voldek is not giving him a chance pushing in that viking coming out oh but he loses it it would have been perfect oh he manages to snipe that um liberator Taking a few pot shots from that tank, then moving back. And he's actually quite built up quite a bit of forces on this on the high ground, still doing damage, finally getting cleaned up, um, back in Voldek's base. Yeah, well he's then this is the thing you have to keep in mind. So now he's clean uh honey bank has been cleaned up and oh, I don't, I don't know. And this is the this is the hmm, I thought I mean, that was the best thing of... possible for I Honey can't... Badger, but his tank was just a little bit yeah. too far out of position. I have the same thought. I feel like if you're Volkis right now, you just need to kind of contain him. Unseeding this tank here, that was definitely a mistake. That's going to go down, but I think Volkis just has too many Marines now. And he's going to get straight into that mineral line. There's no escape. There's going to be even another Liberator uh, joining the fray and just try and gun down as many as possible. The first you see burning here as well. And the AA count is so low here. He's going to try to force the Unseeding. He needs to go back to mining though. A lot of the CVs just sat back at home doing nothing. Uh, I will say. But uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice meme. Unfortunately, it seems like this first game will go to because um, setting Honey Badger up for the 4-1 victory. 
The 4 1 victory, yeah, of course. I mean, the one thing I will say that, that Honey Badger has going for him, provided he repairs it, which he hasn't done so far. There we go. No? Yeah, there we go. Right. Is he has that 30C already up. So that SCB deficit, even though he has lost 25, um, it isn't the end of the world because he's he's, on, he's three, got three CCs versus a two base Terran. The only thing that I for Honey Badger to win this game, he has to take it late. If he tries to end it soon, he and dies. He, he was he, saying he that's what his strength was. Yeah, if he can't hold the next push, he dies. But I don't. And this is the thing, Honey Badger's got both of his tanks up at the front, which means look how much room there is in the upper left part of that main base for Volkus to go for even just a one medevac drop and just cause even more problems. Right. But I don't know, Volkus is, is playing pretty passive, not putting on the aggression. I'd love to see Honey Badger, seeing as he knows he's behind, take a little bit of a risk economically, try and get that third out, get his um, two orbitals created. Um, uh, this, um, I really, I really like this a lot. He needs to put pressure on Voldekis, keep him at home while he can um, take his third and move towards the later game. I mean, this probably sounds like me being incredibly biased, and it's true, I am. But this is also true. Voldekis is doing everything right right now. He's spreading out these Marines, getting as much vision as he can, just spot for these kind of drops. He's got a tank in his main, he's got a tank in his natural, and a good selection of Marines in both bases. There's no need for him to try and put too much pressure on right now while he's establishing that third. You see that Marine spots the double drop here. Quite a lucky break from Voldekis. There you go, Stim Marines running right in. Want to try and pick this off. He has to be careful. Does force the boost out here and we'll push it away. Ah, so far, so good here for Volkus. I mean, guys in chat, this is pretty much going how we were expecting, right? <laughs> Don't count, Honey. I thought Honey Badger was out, but he's really managed oh! to stabilize, take out. He's managed ah, to. Uh... Been so bad. To avoid death. I think he has a chance to come back in this game, to be honest. Potentially. Uh, if if Otwakus plays way too passive, um, it could go it could go bad for him, but I mean Luca D supply. It doesn't help that Honey Badge is also actually a really supply block right now. Oh he's not now. He not was really, really not really. But the thing is, he was twenty supply down um a few minutes ago and he's still about twenty supply down. Um, and the farther that gets into the game, the less of a difference that becomes. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I mean, the fact that this double drop was forced back, it didn't do anything, which uh, is kind of, is pretty is pretty decent. Well, for both players, one Honey Badger didn't lose it. He didn't yolo in and lose it and do nothing. But also good for Volkus in the sense that he he didn't take damage from it. But now with the 30 C up and running and uh, plus one finished. He uh, wants to try and move out, but Honey Badger does have that complete 1-1, one -one, which is quite nice for him. And uh, I think now it's going to come down to uh, who takes a better engagement. Honey Badger taking this third base, um, which is pretty important, but he needs to get in position to defend it. He doesn't know where Voldekus' army is. Um, if he gets his tank set up, I think he can pretty solidly defend this aggression. I like, I like this little lift up here from Volt. He's kind of uh, putting himself in a spot where he can get up on the high ground without the vision being revealed here to Honey Badger. So he's kind of going around the, uh, the what's it called? The, the, the center tower, if you will. Seizing the tanks up straight away up on the high ground. This kind of, this does prompt Honey Badger to go for a big doom drop though. There is a tank in the main, don't forget. And also there's a chance that he could get spotted by these, uh, these, these marines that are hanging around. He loses the third CC, but there's nothing to defend the, the third at home. And if Honeybat yeah, he's, he's, he's going for the there main. Is. I'm not sure there's anything to defend it there either. This drop actually might do a lot of damage. Oh, he's, he just A clicked his own uh, refinery. But look at the, the reinforcements here for Volk already got oh, the he, he, he is well, well prepared. Shutting this down. And now he's going to drop straight into the main here. But he has to be careful. There are a couple of Marines here. They will shut these drops down. And if. Uh, Honey Badger wants to dive in that he can, but this d triple drop did get shut down. Badger Five picking bolt. up a full amount of back. Uh, we're killing the depot series to use supply blocking when he really needs to be, be able to produce any some more reinforcements. 
Sucks. Falk is going up to a fourth base now, and now here we go, dropping up into the main base to try and push that advantage. 1-1 one, one here for both players, but look how low those marines are in the main base here for, for Honey Badger. Honey Badger. Gonna... Honey Badger cleverly using the, the advantages he has, which is that air superiority, to get vision on the opposite tanks. But unfortunately, Voldigus had too much that first game, and goes up 1-0. I'd re I, I am quite convinced that Honey Badger's macro outdoes Volticus. I feel like he got behind with the opening, but going forward he was able to keep up and even catch up a bit. Um, and I'd love to see him go for a more macro-oriented opening going forward. Yeah, um, just my, my, my little ten two cents there uh, in the game. I think it was obviously, obviously it was, it was relatively even matched. Uh, props to Honey Badger for not GGing out uh, whenever the game looked like it was hopeless for him and actually came back in. Um, if that one, uh, you know, double drop actually landed in, in Volticus's base at the timing that it was, it probably would have done so much damage if he was able to skirt past those Marines. But it looks like uh, I think Volticus just had really good map vision and was able to deter that uh, that that kind of last grace push that Honey Badger was diving into. But it was a really good game from both players. Agreed, agreed. Uh, Volkus, uh, I mean, yeah, I think you said, like, the macro probably isn't Volkus' his strong point, but I think his decision-making was probably the, I mean, aside from the mana mules and, uh, and the GG out shit, aside from that, because that's two <laughs> wasted mules. Not not because I care for no BM, but that's two wasted mules. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> What was I going to say? His macro isn't the strong point, but I think his decision making is, uh, is is where it's at. And sometimes in TBT, that's actually more important. You can be behind in um, uh, and you can be behind in TBT in terms of supply. But if you have that vision, if you have that better positioning, it can it can be it can be all it takes. I mean, for example, look at innovation versus Ty. You say you know innovation. He's a better macro player. He's got the better micro, but he lost to Ty because Ty's decision making was just way better. So macro isn't everything in this matchup. I don't know. I don't know though. I I'm not sure Voltikus has better decision making. The way I saw it is he it was more of just like. A robotic experience kind of thing where he saw the reapers he knew how to react he got the advantage and was able to push it from there um i think that if it if honey badger plays a more standard game then he'll be able to sort of um and comes into it on even footing with Voldicus, he'll be able to showcase his decision making and macro capabilities a bit more um i mean i don't think Voldicus will stand any chance i mean i mean that's just you <laughs> you're, a, I mean, you're you're a Zerg player, so what do you know about TVT, right? That's just how it works. But uh, um, doubles, they're asking for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, some reason it's not showing me all that. My, I might my, my, I'm just lagging out a little bit. Acolytes, all I want. Get off Blizzard maps. Go to ladder maps. Okay, cool. Go to... in gear, please. I think we're doing acolyte right next. Yes, acolyte. Ah. Uh. Right, create with mod. We are doing WCS game hard. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, here we go, boys. The superior game mod. Go badger. Go badger. Go <laughs> badger. Go badger. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, where's where's my cheerleaders? What the fuck? Do you like our sexy cheerleaders? Stop arguing. Stop arguing our sexy cheerleader. I mean, I don't know if American and sexy are words are mutually inclusive, but uh, why am I playing? <laughs> why am I here, those? Uh, wait, wait, what's going on? Sorry. You're, you've got a. No, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just. I was messing with the stream. Uh, uh, I mean, like we can play each other if you want. Be a different type of UK versus USA. Uh, a little bit more one-sided, I think. Um, okay. Sorry, it's been uh, two months since I casted StarCraft, so I'm a little, little rusty, guys. Sorry. Uh, it happens. No passion, no passion. <laughs> we are going into game two. 
of Honey Badger oh, versus Voltigus. I need a, it's a, what is it, Control Shift 7? Is that how you do best of seven in here? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. I feel like, I personally despise this map for TVT. I um, don't, I don't know if there's a good map for TVT, to be honest. Um, Ascension's okay. Um, Odyssey's okay. Uh, I mean, how do you define a good map? Like, well, right. It's, so it's a mirror is, match if it's balanced. <laughs> the thing, well, right. The thing is, is that uh, Catalina's bad because there's so much open airspace. Doom drops are a big thing. Uh, the Reaper shenanigans, if you do it correctly, can be quite dangerous. And then this map, it's just really totally, which is just horrible for TVT. Um, just the, the map layout isn't that great. Um, it's very hard to Doom drop on this map. <laughs> um, and uh, you can get the four bases very quickly, and the layout of the map is very makes, makes it makes it very hard to break the turtle player. But that being said, we have loaded in to um, to Acolyte, the worst map in the world, <laughs> except a bit That map is worse. Um, in the bottom left, leading one zero in this best of seven, representing Queen and Country in the green, it is Voltagus. And spawning in the upper right hand corner, it is our orange Terran representing Confed in the greatest country on earth, Honey Badger. So far, both players going for identical openings. Nothing really to vary thus far. Uh, Bobak has got a quicker second guess. That's did actually, he? yeah, he did. So oh, I didn't even notice. Honey, he honey, yeah, honey, yeah, honey Badge is um, Honey Badge is going for an uh, an expand here, whereas Volkus is going for a TVT one one one. Gotcha, um, gotcha. This is really standard. Um, this one 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 stuff. Um, it's bas basically the, the way the reason one 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 is so popular in TVT is you can get that really fast tech out. You can get the harassment units out if you want. You can get Badges liberators. Yeah. Uh, you can set up for uh, quick drops. You can, um, you, you, get, you know, use the tech units to play safe. So you can get those ravens out. You can get those vikings out, um, and tanks out as well. But on uh, on acolyte, it, it, you know, you can get away with a uh, um, with an expand here. This is, a, I think, this was a sixteen gas expand, so it wasn't a gas first, which I'd still like to see. And um, I don't know, maybe it was a gas first. Yeah, it was a gas first. Yeah, gas first expand. Yeah. So. Uh, I thought that was a second barracks. My bad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, the Gas Burst Expand, it's becoming very popular now in pretty much all the matchups, actually, um, just because um, people have worked out you can get your expansion pretty quickly still, and you can get the Reaper out for scouting, but it also means that you can get a faster factory. And for TVT and TVP especially, that means you can get, you know, for TVP, that means faster Metal Axe and faster Wooden Mine Drops um, with an expansion. That means... In TVT, faster tanks, faster cyclones with an expansion. But um, it does mean that your starport does get delayed a little bit compared to a 111. Um, and that could potentially be the difference here, depending on how this game goes. Voltwick is opting for the Hellion here, which um, this is kind of the more aggressive unit for you know for TVT when you want to open up Hellions. Um, they don't fare very well against cyclones at all, but they don't cost gas. Cyclones are much better, but they are way more expensive. Um, right. You know, 100 middles for Helen as opposed to 150, like 100 for a Cyclone, I think it is. It's a huge difference. Um, so, on the back of this, Volk can get a faster Raven, you can get a Cyclone out if he wants to here. I don't personally like this reactor on the barracks. I'm nitpicking here a bit, but I feel like at this stage of the game, it's just better to be, just be building Marines just one by one and get an extra barrack sooner. Um, Volkus is finally getting his expansion, but this is going to be just very heavy aggression coming out soon. And I was talking to Honey Badger before the game, and he was he was actually talking about this specific build. He was worried about this specific build, and here it is. He was thinking to himself, if I see this build, we were talking about it. It was like, just got to get that Viking, um, shut down the Raven. Um, and from there, he thinks he can defend. So Honey Badger was thinking very specifically about this build, and he actually put some work into preparing for it. I feel like if you think this build's coming, you open 111, because the Raven's going to come in. It's going to throw down an auto by the time the Viking gets out. And then the Raven can back off and you have to look for it. So there's a chance you don't find it and there's a chance it comes back in anyway. If he's gone 1-1-1 one, one, one here, he'll have the expansion up and running anyway. It, well, not up and running, but coming down. So Volkis will head this way. I mean, Volkis is not running the, the Raven away like an idiot, but 
I mean, neither player really noticing what's going on down there because Volkers actually did break the front here with two Cyclones. He will lose one, but the Heligan did some nice shots up on the SUV. He's three have gone down so far. Gonna go up to five. Some of these are so low as well. Six, seven. And with the damage that Raven did, the Raven survived, by the way. The Raven didn't even go down. Yeah, Honey Badger micring at the front. Didn't make his. Uh... Oh my god. Didn't stutter after that Raven. Fi Man, 11 SCV. All of a sudden, that fast CC doesn't seem so worth it anymore. As the Raven does come back in for a second round. Even though why? Why did you not put the turret down? Oh my god! You could have killed so many more SCVs. I don't know. Volikus. I don't. Volikus might seem to be ahead when you look at the supply, but all his armies on the other side of the map. Honey Badger's still up in SCVs, um, and has already. Is he it's not? Well, because that's 31. Oh, Honey my Badger bad, my bad. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, but he's off. He's not down by much. Um, and supplies have yeah, already started so the to thing, equalize. The thing here is that you have to... Because he went for that 1-1-1 opening. Uh, sorry, Honey Badger didn't go for the 1-1-1. And then took that much damage. All of a sudden, the advantage that he would have had from going for that faster command center has been completely negated, if that, if that makes sense, right? So... Makes sense. He did get Both. the. He has got the earlier third though. Yeah, that's usually what happens when you go one one one. Sorry, don't go one one one. I keep. I I get it the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm supposed to be saying, but it comes out. Uh, the wrong way. This Viking does uh, catch uh, this medevac here from Honey Badger. I'm not sure what a Viking for Volkus is doing this part on the map. Maybe to try and contest the Viking of Honey Badger. To yeah. To keep the Ravens alive. There's actually exactly. two Ravens in now. Exactly. Um. I don't know how I feel about this though. Um, and somehow yeah, Honey Badger has managed again. to get up in supply. Um, Which is consistent macro is what I was talking about. Yeah, those, um, yeah, fair enough. He got up in supply. We'll, we'll see how this turns out. I feel like having those that faster third TC, you mean you can make three uh, SCVs faster, having a faster barracks, you can make those extra marines faster. Because uh, Volkus only threw down his barracks after that, that push ended. So even if you only have two barracks out, that's already still way more production anyway. And as of this drop is going to come in down here for Honey Badger potentially. I see a mule here repairing the stuff at the front, but Volkus is moving out. Cheeky, cheeky. And there isn't uh, much to defend as natural right now. Everything's centered in the main. Um, yeah, well, that's that's where the production is. You can always pull the SEVs away. He has a third command center, so if he were to take damage there, it's not the end of the world. If you if you if your enemy gets on top of your production, you're in a lot of trouble. So you want to centralize your, your defense at the at the main first, and then go from there because because you don't want to let your opponent. It's the same in ZBT. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if there are links on top of your production, the game's pretty much over, right? Um, if it, if it gets hectic, it's really. It's really frustrating to deal with. I feel like Volkus needs to kind of be paying a little bit more attention and be able to realize that his opponent's not in his natural anymore and go back to mining, or at least even transfer the SUVs to his third. Like, if you're not mining your yeah, main, bit, bit, of, bit of a mistake there. Yeah. But uh, if he's, he was migrating at the front, so it's something to the world here. But tanks moving up now here for Volkus. I imagine going to try and stim down. I feel like I feel like going to take some big shots trying to break this. Honey Badger is uh, forced Honey Badger to is sliding his third. back. Volticus is still not returning to mining, so any damage he's doing right here is... I love how he returns to mining right as the drop comes back in. That actually makes me laugh so much. <laughs> like, he missed out on all that, like, free mining time. But there is a tank here now, though, so this drop should get shut down. Um, he, he can't really stay around while the tank is natural. The Vikings trying to get some vision. We'll just take a lot of damage for free there. Um, I feel like he needs to maybe make a, li a liberator or so to try and break that. He gets on top of the tank, actually. He comes back in for the drop. Now I'm going to try and kill that CC, but Volk is going to stim down. Should just focus down the medevac, and he does. He needs to be careful. He doesn't want to lose uh, any more of these Vikings. They're actually so low. It's very, very Honey Badger trying to break this, but he can't run into two tanks like that. Okay. Ooh, but now all the mains are gone. If he... I don't like this drop because of the... the Viking superiority, but if he just... Oh, the Raven's in the main. <laughs> what are they doing? That's so sick! <laughs> <laughs> I think Volkus is just gonna back off now. Um, I think he realizes he's overstayed his walking. 
I mean, if he needs, if he wants to go, he needs to go now before the Marines come here. Like you unseat, you leave. You don't unseat, you don't hang around. Rip. Uh, behind all of that, Volkers is now up in SCVs. He's up in supply again. Although he has no upgrades, which is gonna suck. He's only building one eBay. Does he already have one? No. So he's only building one eBay. So he's gonna get one upgrade at a time. Yeah, he's, this is gonna suck. There's no, there's no combat shield for him here either. I don't know what he's doing. I like the choice of getting an armory um, from Honey Badger. Deciding what? it and go for that longer game. I mean, you kind of need to get an armory. Like, there's no there's no deciding about it. You have to get an armory. You have to get 2-2. If your opponent doesn't, you get 2-2. Be be before he uh, goes for those... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Never mind. Like, yeah, I didn't realize you already have one. Uh, upgrades in, in TBT are just insane. Like they are, they are probably this is the matchup where upgrades matter the most, in my opinion. Because, because Marines, it's so marine heavy, yeah. Yeah, Marines fire so fast and have such a like a low uh, base armor and not really high health either. That um, it's actually well, it's more to do with the fire rate, honestly, than anything else. That upgrades scale so incredibly well because of the fire rate. Anything else? And uh, you're in a lot of trouble, but actually at the same time, Volk is going to go for a drop here. We'll force the lift off in the natural and kill well, the Oh, the last That's shot it. from the Viking taking out that meta That's a big pickoff there. I feel like he could have reacted faster to that, though, given that he did have a sensor tower there. Um, this is a drop hanging, hanging, hanging around here on the left-hand side. I think he wants to... Uh, I, don't know, I don't know. How does he go with this? But, I mean... This is going to come down to the upgrades. I don't care how high, how high, how much higher in supply you are. If you have two T versus like plus one, you're going to be in a better spot, regardless. Like unless you're like fighting ten to like a hundred to one, having that much better upgrades is just such a huge deal. And he's in a minutes, uh, or not a few minutes, but like a few seconds where um, that two is two is finished before that even plus one. So he's going to be two two against zero zero. Suck. And if he can, if he can That's hit that timing. Volticus can't hold on, I think. I really wish Volticus would, like, sync up these these drops way better. Like, he's got a drop going into the natural right now, but, like, why did you send the one into the into the third while that's heading over? You send them both at the same time, there's a good chance that uh, Honey Badger only reacts to one. And you find damage. So you sync up the, the drops, but you do wait. He's already finding damage with this. Imagine if he had this coming in um, while the other drop was in the third base. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not a hard, it's, it sounds difficult, like having multiple drops, but it really isn't. You honestly only have to focus on one. You just YOLO both of them in, work out which one he's reacting to, and then, then focus on that one, if you're going to focus on any of them. Yeah, And, and then even though the other one just blindly kills SCVs in the background. It makes your opponent, it has a higher chance of dealing damage, obviously, but it also gets your opponent panicked, their macro slips, um, forces them to have higher APM than they might be capable yeah, of. These, um... I mean, these, I mean these, the upgrades really start getting for Volkis, but just look at the, the worker count right now. 74 to 49, that's such a huge deal. Like, that's actually insane. If Volkis could probably just, like, weather the storm with the planetary at his fourth, and a good number of tanks in good positions. I mean, also, I mean, one day hopefully he'll work out he hasn't started combat shield, but... Okay, there we go, as I say that. Cast the curse. I just realized that he's on five bases, not, not even on four, he's on five bases. <laughs> But their army supply is, is pretty similar, and Honey Badger is on 2 2 against 1 0. His biggest weakness right now is on his army is his lack of medevacs. His marines are very, very low. Volt um, needs to just rip. A Volt needs to click on one of his marines, see that his opponent's got 2 2, and just back the fuck off. Like, he's been way over eager here. Honey Badger needs to react. See, this is his chance. Oh, this my chance God. to use his 2 2. One tank going down. Big volleys coming in from from both sides, but in the end, that 2-2 is too strong. And Honey Badger takes the win in that engagement. His army supply is significantly above Voldekiss. He's gonna come in, I think he's, even with this planetary, he might have a good chance to cancel uh, Planetary is really strong. You have to be careful, you can't overdo it. I mean, Volt needs to like see just tank up already, and then get right on top of this planetary and start hitting it. Like, the, you can siege down the planetary, but you just keep repairing it. And now 1 1's gonna kick in here for Volkis, which is nice. He's already started that plus two weapons, and Honey Badger hasn't started his 3 3. So, like, the longer this goes on, the bigger the longer the less time he has with that upgrade advantage, right? And Honey Badger has quite a bank at this point, so um, basically, the sooner he starts 3 3, the better. 
and I'd like to see, see him take a fourth base. He's sort of developed this pressure on the map. Um, he's, right, he's probably thinking, he's probably, he looking, definitely I'm looking at how he bad his vision. He's probably really happy. He's probably like, yeah, I killed the fourth base. Sorry, there's still another mining one <laughs> off on the side. He's not actually, like, that's a really nice pick off, but it's not like game winning like you're probably hoping for. He's still really far behind in work. He's building Marauders, which I think is a, such a terrible idea. Um, and you, this is, it's kind of proven, like they do great versus tanks, but they also take a lot of bonus damage from tanks because they're armored, right? And they don't have the DPS that Marines have. Like they just, the Marines would just shred through them. Like pure Marine versus Marine Marauder, Marines win every time when you pull up Rates and Supply. Like it just without a doubt, they just do so, so much more damage. And um, a bit of a misread here from, from Honey Badger. I think he could have definitely kept pushing in. <laughs> But he th he doesn't realize that Voltus has that uh, that fifth base, and so he thinks that all he uh, can do is to cancel that, and then he can move back. I guess so. Yeah. Like if you, you think you're like, oh, I've got my own fourth base up and running now. I'm getting ahead. But like Voltus is already like establishing his fifth now again, right? While well, Voltus has only just started mining off his fourth, he scans, still doesn't know. Okay, now he knows. He's too, he no, probably yeah. sees that and he's like, God fucking damn it, <laughs> British bastard. That's but, exactly um, the way he would say it. Oh, Badger. but a little bit of a chance here. Yeah, this is a uh, really nice game. Honey Badger. The supply is so much higher. But like I said, like, look how the, the Marauders just, like, not helping out enough. They're just you abandoning, they're just pumping up for some issues. Yeah, their secret missiles are sick, but Bolt needs to back off. His armor supply isn't isn't really kind of together. He's got Liberators going off to be annoying this other map, but look at this push here from Honey Badger. This is going to suck so much. I don't know. Will the kids can hold it? No, he's just, he's, he's got really bad rallies, I'm not gonna lie, like, he's just sending his army in bit by bit. Look how low this army is for Honey Badger, though. And the Badger Bank's finally joining up. But it doesn't matter, once you're on top of the production, and those things start trickling in one at a time, the Terran's pretty much oh, dead. Oh, no, the rally's so bad here for Vault, it's insane. Like, that could have been three tanks he has defensively here. And those Marines are so low, he has to be careful, that one tank in the back could just shred those, shred those up. I mean, it now goes down. Fucking hell, Vault. <laughs> and Honey Badger, as expected, coming back, ready to get his food. As expected. Hmm, don't know about that, Kev. <laughs> I don't know, Kev. Uh, the rallies here from Vault from, from have been so bad. Like, he's lost so many units of three. If he just like consolidates his forces towards his natural, or towards his third base, rather, I think this is a, a really easy hold for him. Because, you know, if the medevacs are so low on energy, you have a lot more tanks defensively here. He's killed the third base. He hasn't quite destroyed all the production in the main. There's also a, ta a factory out there for the fourth base as well. The, and there's no way Honey Badger breaks that. Not with the tank, though. Not with the plant tree. And just like, you know, it seems to be two tanks. Nah, he's gonna contain. He's gonna contain Vault on 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 this set of bases. But he's not denying that other mining base. Why he's making that an orbital alive? No fucking idea. I was wondering the same thing. Um, he wants to try and break this base now, but I don't think this is gonna work. If Vault just to tank up, which he should. Yeah, I don't think he breaks this. Don't yeah. pull the SCV, he's just... Oh. <laughs> you just have to let him attack into you, it isn't hard. Let him kill the Gas Geyser, who cares? A funny Badger... You have 2k gas bank, you don't need a Gas Geyser. <clears throat> honey Badger doesn't realize that Voldicus has really taken his fourth. If he did, he could cancel that easily. Uh, I think... Uh, I mean, there's no way he breaks... Yeah, he has no fucking clue. He doesn't even think about looking up there. Just send one Marine and just park it there, just to make to think about it. I think he's gonna have a look now. Or is he? No, he's not looking about He's not looking yet. He's just... He's not even thinking about it. I feel like you just send one Marine over there and park. Um, and just go from there. One thing I will say is that, like, Volk is actually starting his 3-3 before Honey Badger. So that upgrade advantage is completely gone. And he's gonna have plus three vehicle weapons as well. What is he? Oh my god, again with the bad rallies. Leading out a little thing. Ooh, nice high ground. I like the idea of Honey Badger trying to contain Volticus though. But what he needs to do is sort of what he's doing right now, is keep expanding behind it, get right. that economy if Volt, up, get Volt, those Volt, upgrades yeah. up. Volt's just gonna dive on this now. He's, this is a really good fight for Volt if he, Volt, if he takes it. If he snipes that tank, there's no way Honey Badger wins. No, Honey Badger, cut your losses! Oh, maybe he'll be able to come out on top. Not bad, didn't have anything. Yeah. Well, because he didn't bring any of the tanks with him. Yeah, should have done. No medevacs also really hurts as well, as he did lose that starport from those... Uh, has he actually rebuilt that? No, he hasn't. Oh, that is a big deal. 
And our Honey Badger establishing the fifth as well. Actually, that's just his third a natural that he floated over. So if he loses that CC, that's a big deal. I really, I mean, to be honest with you, I hate, I, I think this is so stupid what Honey Badger just did. Like, I'm not even being biased. This is dumb. You're so far ahead. You've got your opponent contained. Just build a new fucking command center. Like, why risk losing one of your orbitals like that for no reason? That's true, that's true. Uh, I can see it doing a lot. Quite a good engagement and pulling back. He needs more medevac so badly. That is honestly the weakest thing in his army right now. He he needs just constant medevac though. protection. Oh, and he's building a he's building a second starport, a uh, second reactor starport. He's had enough. He's gonna start pumping these out four at a time. Oh, well, he hasn't got any starports. He doesn't have one. He's not rebuilt it. And the longer that goes on, the worse yeah. it's gonna be. But three three coming out for Volikas. And there comes a be... point, yeah. So I mean, right. So he's he's forty supply versus sixty seven. It's gonna have to be a miracle fight if the three three will make a difference here, uh, because he's so far down in supply and no medevax as well. Like he's making fifteen rings at a time. Like what did he do? He's finally realized that he's got no star ports. But if he takes one bad fight without medevax, the saving grace here for him is that his opponent has got really has got a lot of medevax, but the energy is low, so they can't be constantly healing healing during the fights. Um, so that could be a saving grace for him. His 3 3's just finished, so that's now the time to fight if he goes for it. I see mean, the Marauders, they're gonna. Just, yeah, this is a great fight for Really, really good fight here, I think. Probably the best he's gonna take. He still loses because, you know, no medevacs. It sucks. What is this rally? Oh my god. Please tell me Volt isn't just rallying across the map right now. <laughs> that's actually what he's doing. Oh my god. I think both players, um, SUV counts are a bit low, I'd like to see them both push 60's that up. okay, 60's okay. You think? Yeah, 60's like okay, 50's too low, 60's okay, 70's too high, um, well it's too high if, you're, if, you, if you don't understand the, the reason why you got that high. Um, uh, 60's okay, because of mules, I think 50 might just be a bit low though, you're right. Um, 66 is like the ideal number, because that's perfect 3 base saturation. Right, right. Um, so I think 50 is a bit too low here. So I think, yeah, maybe the longer this goes on, Volt has to be. I don't want to see him fight with that medevac, though. I think he's really slow on the stims and the sea jumps, to be honest. I think he's really slow on them. I think this could be a great fight for Honey Badger, even though he's on down upgrades. He needs to get on top of that uh, tank, and he knows it. Pushing forward. Tank doing a bit of friendly fire there, actually. I. These these rallies are just honestly like I'm gonna have a strong talking with them like saying a vote because your rallies <laughs> fucking suck. This isn't TVZ. You can't just blindly rally across the map like that, especially when you're behind. Like just seriously, pull it up at your natural and just make a ton of units and just come in big waves. Don't just trickle your forces across against a ball like that with better with better uh, air support. You know what I mean? Like if he had medevacs there, like, if he had like even two medevacs with any of these fights, it's completely different. And in uh, another minute, um, Volt's biggest advantage, his bio upgrades, are going to be gone. And from there, I think Honey Badger should start pushing across the map. And he knows that he's he's realized uh, he's going to hit that timing with his uh, as his upgrades finish. Um, I'd like to see him put a bit more uh, investment ATS into Jesus Christ. mechanical upgrades. <laughs> Volt's gone to 78 SCVs. See, I think the way he's playing though, that's not so bad because he's he's fighting in a way that's like maybe you shouldn't be doing this, but he's fighting in a way that's like lots of little engagements. And the more engagements you have, yeah, the, so more that's, skills, that's, the more SCVs you have, the yeah, more so that, you this need. is the, this is the TY philosophy, okay? The logic being that you just you keep trading and because you have a superior economy, you can win games that way. I don't like this fucking idea. Yeah. I it might not be bad, he has so many medivacs. Yeah, he has to back off now. He's gonna get slightly. Oh, he's gonna lose the medivac? medivac? Uh, yeah. He could lose two here, there's already reinforcements for Volk, because already- No! He's- Oh, oh the tanks God. are gonna hit them friendly fire! It's fine. Six, he seven, has... eight- He has too many SCVs anyway, it's fine. That's true, any Badger might be doing him a favor. Bring up supply, yeah, there we go. But look at the supply. Well, now that there are medevacs, I like this for Volkus now. He can just- if he just keeps making marines, he's making more marines at a time than- than Honey Badger, like, that's a- like, Usually that's not a big thing, but like if you're making 30 marines or like 10 marines, you'll catch up, provided you take even fights. Um, 
He's got plus plus three vehicle weapons. He's got even got plus one vehicle armor for good measure as well. Like why not, right? Um, so his his stuff's gonna be harder to kill. And the thing I think the important thing to keep in mind is that Honey Badger keeps making marauders. And if if Volkis just keeps making marines, if he, if they evens up in supply, yeah, he's really far down now. But if he evens up in supply, I think he's gonna be in a he should be able to take better fights. His marauders just suck. They really do. As soon as the Honey Badger, if I don't know if Honey Badger realizes how far up he is, because. If he did, I think he should be as aggressive as humanly possible. Well, I don't know why Volkus is making his really far out bases as orbitals. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Like, why is his base in the bottom right an orbital? Ooh, so many SCVs! 12, 20! And the command center goes down. Honey Badger is maxed. I want to see him keep pushing across the map. Ooh, a bit of a weird engagement for both players. The Volticus has that tank seat stuff. This might actually be quite a good engagement for him. More to suck, I told you. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the supply. He just fought a player with twice the army supply and won. <laughs> I mean, he's throwing, it. he's throwing it again, but... Like, pay attention to your army. Yeah, he's getting shot like there's like a little bit of a two prong, two prong attack coming out of drop. Um, I'd rather see him go for the SCVs now that he just took a big fight and you're trying to remax. Might be able to pick off a tank here if he focuses. Not quite. Reinforcements come in. But again, Honey Badger skyrocketing supply over his opponent. But I, I hear what you're saying. Every Marauder Marauders, he, he Marauders, makes. Marauders are also like two supply as well. That right. investment should be in tanks. Yeah, but you spend the gas on tanks. You like for every one marauder you have, that's a marine you can't have as well. Two, sorry, two marines you can't have. And like, well, if you click on one of the marauders, it does eight damage versus non-armored. Marines aren't armored. They have a base three armor and do nine damage every 0.6 seconds. Whereas marauders attack twice, sure, but every one second. But armor because they attack twice. Armor even affects it twice, right? So mm -hmm. it's it's actually just disgusting. And Marauders don't even only have one extra armor than Marines. I don't I really don't think it's like they really don't benefit here at all. I think these both players are kind of relying maybe Volk is not so much, but I think both like Honey Badger especially is relying too much on the center towers for his vision. Uh, he's using a lot. Of, he's using a lot of scans. You just want to be spreading marines out, and this is the benefit of having more marines in your armies. You can afford to have a couple of units spread out to watch those the other sweet spots. And the thing about center towers is your opponent knows where not to go to get his shit seen. You know what I mean? True. But I don't know. They have such a, a such huge bank. They can just make a shit ton of uh, center towers everywhere. So, right. What is Honey Honey Badger's Honey Badger's like? You will not find the space. He like pulls all his SCVs down and the top and like hides his <laughs> his command center before the scouts it anyway. Honey Badger's F2 in here to try and uh, hold on. But because the tanks aren't seeds up, which means Honey Badger probably has a moment now to fight. But we'll back off after losing all of that. Where's this where's this fucking army? He has this chronic problem of never having enough medevacs though. Oh my god, two men are back, full of units, gonna get, well one of them at least is gonna get picked off, the other one is very low. Oh, why is Vault building Marauders? Stop it, they aren't good. Don't get, I'm on my message like, just because Honey Badger is <laughs> building Marauders, don't, don't, fucking dare. don't build Marauders, they're shit. Like, genuinely, I actually feel if the supply was even right now, and like, Honey Badger has Marauders, we're just talking hypothetically here, Vault crushes it 100% of the time, because Marauders just don't scale well enough in this kind of fight. This base is a bit cheap from uh, of all the kids. I feel like Honey Badge is overstimming his army a lot as well. Like looking at it, like that might be yeah. what it is. I'm looking at a couple moments where there's like his entire army's orange, and he just hasn't got the medevacs to support that. Because mm -hmm. they keep one, they keep getting picked off, and you keep stimming. Um, it looks I like think... he's gonna go for a battle cruiser transition <laughs> or Volvicus, I mean. I mean, why not, right? What do right? you think but, about that? I, I mean, I don't think he's ahead enough to warrant it. I think he needs to seize the fuck up right now. And 
Honey Badger going all in. Not the greatest engagement, but he might just have too much. And it looks like it. And this might be... I don't know if this will be... This will quite be game, but I think this will be sort of the beginning of the end. For Volikus. Nah, you can hold this. He just lost 24 SCV though, so he's on 27. He needs to restart remaking those. But lucky for him, he, for some reason, he, well, he's only just got... What, one orbit or two orbitals? He needs to start remuling the shit out of that base. Um... What the fuck? Did he just chase that and lose his arm? Oh my god, Volt. This is why you don't rely on, cent on center towers for vision, because when they die, you have no vision. <laughs> well, the same would be true for a marine, though. Yeah, they're so easy to replace, though, because you spread them out a lot, and you go for Zelnagas, and you spread marines around. You don't just re you don't just rely on center towers. You have marines spread out as well. So, you, you know, you, you obviously die for the center tower, but if you have a marine, like, up in the upper left... True, true. Honey Badger won't see that, but you, there's a chance that you spot the army up there or you see the reinforcements coming in. And with uh, moving to the late game like this, with the bases so spread out, these El Naga towers are actually become increasingly valuable, and neither player is going to try and take them. Um, great counter attack from Voldekus. Honey Badger um, probably going to lose everything up there, but I'm not sure it'll matter as he's moving in with this enormous army coming right down the center. And this is the thing as well, right? You can't build a center tower in the middle of the back. You just put one marine there. Even if the marine dies, you see it. You see the army, you know? Exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, G -G. What can I say? The better player won. Through the game, there. <laughs> yeah, of course. Twice. I can hear the vengeance coming from your keyboard to uh, tell <laughs> tell Volticus what he did wrong <laughs> in that match. Well, that was a very long game. It looks like you know we're up one one, not up, but uh, tied up. So that's pretty good. Shows that this this show match uh, is, is the reason why it happened. It's not just one sided and awful, which is always the worst. Yeah, they actually seem quite even. Um, um, so, so guys, just let me know uh, in chat. I, I try to keep myself muted, and um, just so I can kind of maybe do a little cue, uh, cues of what's going on that maybe they don't don't see that I, you guys don't want to hear me say things like, "Hey guys, check out top left." <laughs> you know. So uh, if you guys can hear my beautiful, rich uh, mahogany voice, uh, just let me know. And I, I, I need to stop doing that. I, uh, you, when you said check out top left, I was looking at it and I was about to point it out, and then you're like, look at top left. I'm like, I'm already here. Like, I'm right? No, and I, I have confidence in you guys. It just I'm just saying, like, I because so far I haven't even never I said that I was just kind of like, ooh, like just in case you're not looking at it. Um, also, I think no, it's I all it's it. it's I, the, I'm my, still pretty new to casting to be honest. So like, any sorts of help is sure. kind of welcome. Yeah, uh, you know, and it, it's one of those things that uh, you never stop improving at if you do it. Like, every single time you learn something new um, that you shouldn't have before. So you, you can really tell. It's it's like watching. It's like, it's like playing StarCraft. You can tell the difference between somebody who does it every day versus somebody who does it once a month. You know, mm -hmm. me being once a month, not so good. <laughs> not so good. Uh, but anyway, welcome welcome to the chat, guys. If anybody is here uh, right now, um Welcome to the show match. It's currently 1-1, one, one, Volticus 2. Uh, uh, Volticus and Honeybatcher tied up. So the U.S. and the U.K. being able to determine who is the better Diamond 2 specifically within these teams, Terran player. Uh, <laughs> no obvious answer yet. Um, Stakes are huge. Right. So so just to talk a little recap of that last game, uh, it seemed like Volticus had issues. I, it, he had, it took him way too long to rebuild his Stargate. Or starport to um yeah i feel like that was actually the big thing yeah th um, that and his rally points uh, those two things I, alone probably, you know like i think if you're Volticus right now like you're sitting in that game and you're going why the fuck is my army dying i've got better upgrades i've got marines versus marauders with tanks as well because one thing i will say is that um honey Badger didn't build like pretty much any tanks going to the late game it was just pure marine marauder um which probably might fucking hurt him <laughs> a lot if if Volticus can get ahead Right. Um, but I think if you're Volticus, you're sitting there, you're going, why am I Marines dying? 
why am I not winning these fights? And then like you have you, you sit back and you feel like you're building um, uh, medevacs, you think you're doing it, and you're not. And that's probably why we saw like one or two marauders mixed in. Because you, you make marines, you tab once, you make tanks, you tab again to normally go to your starport, you press the D key a couple times to make medevacs, but you've actually tabbed back to your, your, your barracks and you've queued marauders up instead. That's what's happened. Um, he's probably like, why, what, why is, why am I, why are my army, my army's dying? And then you realize your starport's not there and you're just like, for fuck's sake, god damn it. And you just, you've, I know that feeling very well, like I've played this enough times to like, just forget a little thing or not notice something um mm. and so that's why um sometimes it takes too long for players to to not um to, to what's what i'm trying to 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 not realize that something's missing because you think you should have it like it happens a lot with uh with upgrades like so you'll start um um your your start three three but then you're only your plus three will finish like your plus three weapons and you'll be like what the fuck I swear I started it, and then you'll find out that you either just didn't have enough money, barely, or you you queue them both onto the same eBay or in CVT. You like you think you start kite Ennis and you don't, or you bait speed or you hide. You know what I mean? It's just stuff like that, and you like you you think it's happening, and you think you're just like, oh, it's okay, they'll come, they'll come later, they're just building, it's fine. And then and then it clicks, and then you see him build the start for, and then you see him start that three three again. It it, it, it hap you get it a lot where you just feel like something it's like it's just it's not ready yet it's not ready yet they're coming it's fine and then you realize you've forgotten it and then you you kick yourself mentally really hard and that can be either a blessing or a curse going into the next game if you because you either might be really on top of it or he might have just tilted himself into oblivion who knows right. Okay, it uh, looks like we are readying up for uh, round two. So it's like, go, go. Um, okay. uh, you, guys, you guys are ready, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm always ready. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm kind of starting without you regardless. But uh... Ascension to Ire. This is actually one of my favorite maps in the map pool. Yeah, I think I think it's the most normal. It's great. I love it for TVT, except versus mech. But then I hate playing TVT versus mech anyway. But every other matchup, it's like, eh. It's a it's a good round, well balanced map though. I will agree. It's a lot of fun. Mm. Yep. All right. So, spawning in the bottom right hand corner, it is our orange Terran, gracefully taking the last game. Ready to take the next one too. It is Confed Honey Badger. And in the top left, in the green, giving him if his opponent a bit of an you know a bit of an edge, giving himself a handicap to keep things fair here, going to the rest of this best of seven. Representing Psy X and Queen and Country, it is Volticus. He brought me here to be biased. That's why I'm here. <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening. Identical builds thus far, right? I'm not wrong this time. Ah, uh, they're the same. Like At the moment, yeah. At this point, it's too early to change. Like, if you you don't, the the timing for your second second gas, if you're gonna get it, is 17. Ideally, okay. um, that's when I like to get it. I think that's the optimal time. Um, either way, you've already you've already got it. At this point, if you want a second gas, so it looks like it's the gas first. Uh, or no, it's just the um, both players, Benji. 16 wrecks, 16 gas. Um, I, I, I just don't think there's any reason to do this build in, in, in TVT. I feel like just gas first expand is way better. Honey Badger opening with the Marine. Um, to, uh, because Reapers are bad on this map. You know, there's only, there's only one way to match your main. It is in that open area where the Marines are to now. Kind of in the natural, you can't jump back, you know, into the back of the main base or anything like that. So Honey Badger skipping on the uh, the Reaper for uh, opting for a faster factory off a sixteen, off a sixteen gas. Which you know, if you're doing that, that makes sense why you'd go you could you'd go for a sixteen gas potentially. Um, but I think if you're Volkus here and you're going for that Reaper, just go gas first. Um, you get your you get your factory so much faster. But he's actually opting for a second barracks here. You, you think see, that's uh, gonna if we got some aggression, or is that just sort of a defensive thing? This could be a 2 1 1. 
Ah, okay, okay. Uh, and does that speaking... execute itself in the same way it does in uh, TVZ? In theory, I think some it depends. Sometimes you go for one drop in the main, one drop in the natural. Um, it should hit at about the same time. I personally don't like it in TVT. I feel there's too many variables. Like, you know, you go 2 one, one. Oh, there's a Banshee. Oh, there's a Liberator. Oh, he's gone for a, a Mass Reapers. Oh, he's gone for a Cyclone Fish. Or always oh, gone for a one base tank fish, you know what I mean? Like you don't it's not very safe, but you get that expansion fast. Um you get yourself a very fast stim, you get yourself medevax early as well. Um so it is it isn't like um implausible. I just don't like it personally. Versus what Honey Badge is doing, I think it's fine. Um I don't I don't think it's a real issue because Honey Badge doesn't look like he wants to do anything stupid aggressive. There is potential here for a Banshee but, or, or maybe a Raven. I think Banshee's more likely because of the way the buildings are positioned. Um, but a scan from Bolt will reveal that. Um, and Honey Badger sc uh, scan as well, actually. Uh, is that normal in TVT to, sc to scan that early? Or is that a yes. bit? Okay. If you can't, if you can't get any, uh, if you can't get a Reaper in or anything like that, you have to scan. Because you, you, you have to know what you're up against. You have to know if it's a Banshee coming. Um, you have to know if, you go, if he's going for a one base. You have to know if you're if he's playing, you know, greedy, you have you just have to get the info somehow. Um, is if if you don't scan and he's built a third command center and you've prepared for for banshees and you're playing super passive on two bases, you're dead. If you if you think he's playing greedy, you've gone for a fast serve to skip the eBay and he's gone for banshees, you're dead. If he's what if he's one basing you, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> it's it's really it's important to get that information. Um, Makes sense, makes sense. And when you have two orbitals, you can just, yeah, it's honestly, it's, sometimes it's better just to lose out on a little bit of money early on and scan than lose the game. Right. Honey Badger, a bit supply blocked. This is a vintage supply block right here. Like, this is the number 46 is where I always get supply block because, like, <laughs> You build, you build the first two, like your second depot, and then your orbital finishes, and then you've got this big buffer of supply where you can just keep making stuff for ages, and then you get supply blocks because you forgot to build a depot. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a really stupid. fast sensor tower here for Honey Badger, like stupid fast. Like I actually don't like it fast because at this stage in the game, you you have a Viking here patrolling in this area. You've got a depot providing vision on the low ground, and your, your army isn't spread out enough that it's so far away that. You can't respond in time. You know, you know, what, you know what this is though. Is this just him saying that? He's saying that if this goes to the late game, I am sure I will win. Um, and so he's gonna. Be, he's like, he's thinking. Uh, I, I mean, over? I guess right. Like, it's, it could be him like being want to be super safe and take it long, but it's just like an unnecessary expense. It's just expensive. That might be true. Yeah. Like it just, it's just expensive. I. Just, I mean, right, it's just, he's going to meta back out with both his marines. One of the liberators is going to get caught by a viking here, but there's another one in the natural. It's just going pew pew pew. Killing some SUVs. But um, Volt, Volt has got vision in the upper right. He, sh he should maybe spot this. Well, that's around the map, though. We'll yeah. If... He managed to clean up um, both liberators losing five marines. Um, I think that's okay for Honey Badger. Like, five Marines for two Liberators. I mean, five uh, SUVs for two Liberators. Not so bad. Um, yeah, if it was for one Liberator, I'd be like, you know, as Volta, because you're probably really happy with that. But two Liberators? Uh, I don't know. Is he going to spot this? I think he does. Yeah, he sees us. Yeah. There he comes home. And actually, he didn't actually lose his second Liberator. So he actually did only get, he did get five for one. So that's okay, actually quite okay. nice. Oh, I love this Widow Mine, by the way. That's pretty clever. I love these wood like these are so funny. When when uh, when your opponent tries to come in, it does so much burst damage to start things off that <laughs> it just like yeah, you either force him to turn around because you just don't want to risk losing the medevac. If you've got like a Viking here with this, this is a dead medevac. Right. Um but he hasn't, unfortunately. Uh, I really like um Volkers' vision. I really kind of hoped that he would spread it out a bit more in a line, kind of in line with the Zonarchus a bit as well. Like he's he's got a lot of vision out towards covering his base. But I think that's a bit of an error. Here we go. There's one. Right, just get underneath it, get underneath it, snipe it. See what I mean? You guys are a little bit closer there. And Randy Badger gets the fuck out. Oh, oh nice pick off there. What a hero marine. And he's got his own Gabe right there. Oh, 
<laughs> what just happened there? The Marines like kept running back and forth. Like, no, nah, we're not sometimes, gonna kill it yet. Some, sometimes, sometimes you feel like uh, you've killed it and then you haven't. Yeah. Happened, like, <laughs> you said it happened like three times. He's like, okay, it's dead. No, wait, it's not. No, wait, it's dead. No, it's not. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, don't F2! Oh my god, like, I do, I hate it when I do this, like, but you spend ages setting up this vision and then you F2 anyway. <laughs> so annoying. I like, I honestly, I like, I like never used F2. I don't know, I started playing the game before it was uh, put in, and then I just like never adapted to it. Which might and be a good thing, I'm not sure. It's a nice button to have sometimes, like, in emergency, yeah. but it's, it's a bad habit to get into. Mm-hmm. I think I will say, like, look at the army supply right now, though. Like, yes, there's a, there's a tank here for Honey Badger, and he's got plus one and combat shield, so actually he can't really push in. Mm. You think? Well, there you go. One drop coming off to the upper right. He's going to force some units up from Honey Badger to the back to try and defend this, or he's going to take a lot of damage. Yeah, Honey Badger's loading up. He's loading up two medevacs here. He's going to go into That's the main space. It's a little strange. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're focused now and you're aware of this, you just dive this third base right now. I don't know why you went to need to go to the main base. You can clearly tell that the, the medevac's going to the natural. I guess he's... Well, there's another medevac coming in from the south. He's trying to, like, I guess, predict that Voldekiss will hit that three-pronged attack. Um, but overthinking it a little bit, I think. Well, I mean, now you just you get behind the third base right now. I feel like you force him back. He's, now you see that if you brought the army back, you should just try and dive the tank. Sometimes you just need to YOLO it. Although, yeah, here we go. Although I feel like without combat shield, it can be a bit risky. Oh, but the tank goes down. Yeah, both tanks go down, but 1-1 one, one versus no combat shield, this is gonna suck. And Honey Badger, I think, can jump on top of these tanks if he pre-splits. I'm so glad Vault's taking my advice, by the way. Oh my god. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you see, he's pulling his units up. And then, like, look at this, like, he's now just, rather than trickling his units in, he's just got a big wave incoming. So, like, if you're Honeymatch, you're like, oh, yeah, I broke it. Nice. Good. Oh, he's got a lot of extra units. And this harassing in the natural isn't even done yet. Honey Badger. Oh, he's gonna get on top of these tanks. But it isn't over. Ah, uh, Honey Badger could have microed that better. This is a dead sure. third base, by the way. Yeah, perhaps. No, it's dead. Sorry to bust your bubble. It's dead. <laughs> And at the same time, Volk is going up to four bases right now. So what does Honey Badger do from here? Uh, well, oh, he saves, he saves the third. Okay, so like that's this. important. I like this. He's dropping the main base. What does Honey Badger do from here? Uh, he tries and breaks out for one. Um, and then go from there. Oh, at least that medevac sucks. He's actually got no more medevacs. I think he can jump, and jump on top of these tanks, actually. There was more medevacs! If Honey Badger load up all his units into the medevacs and drop them on top of those tanks... Um, yeah, would work no, he well. would. He'd break it, you're right. Uh, he wants to go for the long way around though, and this is the problem with F2ing, right? You set, you spend ages setting this vision up, you have Marines at the zone 9 because you have Marines spread out to spot this kind of stuff, and then you F2 and lose it anyway. So now he's like, so certain that his opponent's stuck, like, in the main base. Oh, this could suck. Let's see who's on top of this first. And it looks like it is Honey Badger. A lot of the forces are gonna get caught out. This sucks. Nice big eyes on Honey Badger. And now he's fighting he into the tanks. He needs to split his units before he engages the tanks. Yeah, he, he will break this. Up anyway. But uh, not after losing a lot of that army. Like, that could have gone a lot better for him. If he, he didn't even have to split. He just had to spread. Like, and he needs to get that third down again right now. His 2-2's yeah, uh, <clears throat> um, against 1-1, one, one, so he does have the upgrade advantage. And he's going to have to utilize that to get back in this game. And 3-3 three, three starts immediately. I really yeah, like I think that. he learned from last time. He's like, no, I'm not letting this happen again. Uh, Volt, I like it. He's just going to try and stay back at home. He's going to try. I mean, it looks like it. Is, where are these Marines going? Oh, he's spreading them. Okay, right. <laughs> um, he's going to try and defend this base at the same time with a double drop going into the main base. There isn't a Viking here. And I think Honey Badger is really busy trying to defend... Uh, He's going for a double drop, but it's luckily for him, he loaded up to go for his own drop. And he's going to be able to catch this drop going into the base here, which is nice. I think Honey Badger shuts this down pretty easily, actually. Mm, two twos he a big to drop 
He needs to yeah. drop. Oh, I think that he's got control there from Volkis, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, I was like, it, it just, I, it's really awkward sometimes with SimCity when you're trying to get spreads. Um, especially with high marine counts, but I think back himself into a corner like that really wasn't the best idea. And like, he, like well, here we go again. Like he's got another drop coming up to the upper, up to the upper right. Like if you're gonna do this, just send it at the same time as the other one. You know what I mean? Like, but the thing is, he's on like what 80 SCVs. <laughs> Any aggression he does hold against us right now is good aggression. Yeah, right. But so like, there's good aggression, and then there's aggression that makes sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> Like, you, cause, you know what I mean? Like, so if Honey Badger still. Like, imagine if this drops in while Honey Badger's reacting to the drop in the main base. I mean, right. you're not even reacting to this, but this is, this is, you know, Honey Badger, you know, showing us what should have happened. Um, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like we see, like, he pulled his Marines to try and deal with that. If he's still fighting the double drop in the main base, he can't go and, and deal with that. And I feel like if you're willing to make these drops, just send more than one. I feel I honestly feel like it is it's a bit of a wasted opportunity. You know, if you know you're you you're gonna be keeping your opponent on uh at home, just get super aggressive with it. Um Honey Badger trying to time out his three three um with his attack. Um we're getting a little caught you know, a little this, bit this, is, this is a dead third base. <laughs> right. dead base. Oh the SCVs! Oh my god. And so the Honey Badger thing, okay, I gotta turn this into a base trade scenario. Um, he just tank up there, he's in a good spot. I think he realized he just has to go home and defend now. I don't know if I like that, actually. I'd like to see Vildekiss keep playing forward. No, you kill this army, then you just out macro him, because he has, he has eight SCVs, for God's sake. But I, I don't know, I feel like engaging the army is his Honey Badger's one chance to win. I mean, maybe Vildekiss agrees with you now, but I disagree. I think when you've done that much damage, does he, maybe he doesn't realize how many he killed. That's possible. <laughs> I feel like when you've done that much damage, you just, you come home. Like, you, bear in mind you also don't see the army there, right? Like, there's no, no opposition to that. He just lets you do it. His army is somewhere else, which means he's going for an attack. You just do the damage, you come home and you <laughs> the game. Honey Badger fleeing. Um. A bit of a base trade now starting. Uh, yeah. The thing here for Volkus is he's actually like way ahead of the curve now. Um, so he's already like started. Um, yeah, their, their army supplies are not that far off from each other actually. Um, even if Volkus has way more income. And Honey Badger has the upgrade advantage. So I think currently Honey Badger has a stronger army. Right, I disagree. He's eventually gonna have to. Um... I disagree. He's got less tanks and he's got marauders in his army. I, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, like, I'm, I know that sounds rude. <laughs> no, like, no, upgrades are important, but not when you've got like one tank and you've got marauders in your army. Like, it, Honey Badge has also gone for the vehicle armor upgrade. So, that, oh, the winner mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just free damage. It's just like wasted energy. Like, he's, he hasn't even got a plus one vehicle weapon to that one tank. He's got vehicle I... armor. I bet Volukas even forgot those for there. Uh, oh, like, he's building a CC on the other side of the map. And there's a plant tree here with three barracks at this, uh, this uh, fourth base location right now. Oh, I don't like this at all for Honey Badger. Uh, he has to be careful, does not want to drop on that at all if he can avoid it. And now with the army of Volukas coming home, uh, I don't know, Kev. Honey Badger takes the right engagement. I feel like he can win. I honestly say that it's the lack of tanks that makes it so scary for him. Because the, the biggest thing that stops you just yoloing into an opponent's army is, is siege tanks. That's actually just it. The thing that, that when you when you see your opponent's army, the thing that, says, that makes you go, okay, I can't just attack this, is your opponent having three, four, five tanks sieging up behind his bio mm -hmm. and just slaughtering all your marines. That's actually why you can't do it. Only having the one tank there makes it so much easier for Volkis to just get right on top of his opponent's forces. And, uh, ah, uh, uh, this is bad. I don't like this here for at all. Just overstimming like a madman. And not even bringing his tanks. Just sat back at home seats up. It's like trying to throw this game. Jesus. <laughs> uh, retreating to the tanks at this part thing now. He needs to be building depots. I don't know why he's not doing that. He's got like 1300 minerals banked up and he's not building depots. Like, come on. <laughs> There we go. has an SCV somewhere. Now he has one SCV. Where is it? Right, uh, at his third base. Or fourth base, yeah. Um, 
So he's um, like, guys be building depots? If that dies, he's in trouble. It, in fact, he's got a long way before he can build any units. So if that dies, he's in a lot of trouble. Because he has to not only build, he's got one STD to get 100 minerals to build one depot. Whereas now Volticus is now making more minerals. Well, he, he, can, he can drive mules to uh, mine. I guess that's true. You're right. I forgot about those. Oh, Vol, what are you doing? Keep your medevacs with your army. Why are you boosting them? Your army's not there. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Honey Badger, run away, run away. Or oh, fight outside tank range. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. The problem is, is you can't even really like drop this if you're a Honey Badger right now, because I don't think his army's good enough to take down the plant tree. Oh, he can't lose this CC! Oh, he's got one more. Okay. But this is the one with the mules, though, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only he had dropped That's a big deal. That's a huge deal. Yeah, and it's going to be really hard for him to, to Honey Badger to kill this uh, planetary fortress. Like, there's a tank yeah, there, there's a few possible. marines here as well. There's, and the planetary being a planetary as well. Huge deal. Oh, this tank is doing so much work. MVP tank! No, just, just, the thing. Re just repair the planetary. <laughs> Yeah, this might be off zero. So basically, Honey Badger wins for two. <laughs> oh my god. I like that he's still trying though. This is it, this is what's off zero. GG, Volkis takes game number three. We're going to uh, to map. Was it map six? I think now, at least. Um, yes, so it's a two one. So yeah, we have to at least go to map five six. Yeah. No five. We have to go. There's a going to be minimum five maps. Right. No, sure. It would have been minimum five if it. Uh... Oh yeah, because he could win four one still. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, I'll be right back. Get some water. Okay. All right, um, I'm actually gonna, let me hop in with them really quick. Um. Get this set up just so. Just give me one moment. I'm gonna get them hopping in here. Oh, aha! Oh, look. Hello. Oh, there, there. Look Hello, at that, huh? gentlemen. Well, because I have like half your base being cut off right now. Let me fix that really quick. Oh, there you Is go. This better? Yeah, it's a little better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, so, oh my. Yeah, that last game that that went from for a lot longer than it should have done. It should have just been you leaving right there. I forgot to mana mule again, but you killed all my orbital. So mana muling was not an option at the end of that. Uh, so, hey um, man, three three I guess isn't that good. No, I three have... three versus two two, but you have uh, no, no that's... and you have, yeah. So yeah, uh, one thing that I've been seeing, you know, so that that game, um, Honey Badger definitely had the upgrade advantage, and that that's that's what kept him in the game so long. But I mean, it was just the. Uh... The type of base trade you both took was uh, more beneficial to Volticus than it was Honey Badger. I think just simply, yep. I think that planetary fortress is really what what saved the game for Volticus in the yeah. base trade. 
Yep. Well, how are we feeling, guys? How uh, how is this what y'all um, anticipated? Is this is this as uh, challenging as you thought? As easy as you thought? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Seems I, honestly, I have to say, a lot of us seem to think it's pretty evenly matched. It's been a uh, very every game has been pretty close. Mm. But yeah, um, I'm a bit annoyed they went on so long. Like I crushed you game one. No, that's yeah. bad. Bad luck, by the way. Yeah. And then it went long game number two, and uh, I can see in the way you play that that's just the way you wanted to go. You have seen that thing in my play that you want you wanted to go long, because that's where I could fail. Yep. Because Acolyte was a shit map. <laughs> For simply. Ooh. Feeling though, I'm feeling the burn. No, I mean this is pretty much what I expected, so. TVT is going way longer than they should have. Yeah, I mean, even on the ladder, I don't have TVTs as long. So, in total, we've been going for how long, Dittles? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, an we, thought, we said this was going to only take games. two hours, and yeah, it's been an hour, 15 minutes. Who said it would take two hours? It's the best of seven. <laughs> uh, honey Badger. Honey. Uh, honey Badger. I will say, I will, say, I will say, our uh, Nidus games are usually about two hours, and those usually go best of seven, so. Oh, but not every single game is a TVT in the NIDA, so... Good good point, good point. Where we have... The average game time is at least 20 minutes, 25 minutes. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, did Dante, did Dante subscribe again? Again? So, awesome. Yeah, that or he never stopped. I, I checked earlier and I thought I didn't have any more subscribers. Uh, so, Dante, thank you so much for uh, for the subscription. I see you casting the Duddles. Duddles FXB and chat, dude. You're, you're, you know, you're saving StarCraft or esports one sub at a time. Um, All right, because Honey Badger and I don't have the chat open. From what you can tell, who's being rooted for the most? Is it, who, is it the Honey Badger support or is it the Voltica support? Honestly, it's about half and half. Um, is it's that not half and most. Half? Most people are just talking about the game itself and not really showing. I, I think there's like every every fifth or sixth somebody will be like, "Oh, yeah, Volticus is gonna win," and then the next guy's like, "Honey Badger's <laughs> gonna kick his ass." Like, and then it, you know yeah. it'll keep on going back but, and then people are just you know mostly speaking poorly. It's like, man, Volt is really throwing this game, <laughs> like something yeah, along I, those I lines. Throw TVTs a lot. That's why you just keep going to light game, which is I admire greatly. Right. Because it fucks me over big time. And then, and then somebody else is saying something along the lines of like, well, USA is I... the only country with real pizza. UK can get out. You know, like, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what that meant. I was just, you know, I'm just moderating. I don't, I don't I mean, know. Just like, sat here just like, I've got my bangers and mash in the oven, ready for the end of this, you know. British cuisine, guys. Uh, top notch. All right, so we're uh, we're about to break into the halfway point of the series because uh, it'll be yeah. game four. Game four. So are y'all? Are you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Cool. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to say before we I hop back in and kick y'all out of this channel? Uh, I I haven't really got enough shit talking because I, I do respect Honey Badger and it's not enough to instantly throw shit off the top of my mind. <laughs> well, that's no, it's... mutual respect here. Right. Yeah. Hence the shit show. Uh, uh show match. It's yeah. like it's not a grudge <laughs> match. It's just a show match. Yeah, we talk, leave the shit sh uh, talking to you guys, Broke Talent Vintage. Cool. Oh man, next 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 interview we should uh, get uh, the champion in Volticus. Ah, ah, clever like, guy. Oh, such a clever play there. You just totally fucked. You just might as well GG now. Uh, we'll what see. what is uh, what is the next map by the way? We're gonna do Odyssey. 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 I like it. Whew. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Um, I'm hopping out and joining, rejoining Broke Tail and Vintage. Uh, good luck you both, right. to you both. Um, I hope it's... I want a clean fight! You know, like, I should have done this way earlier. Like, let's get ready to rumble! By the way, uh, Volticus, that's an iconic uh, uh, announcer for boxing. Um, he's American. <laughs> Thank you for the explanation. I do actually need that. Yeah, you right. sound really patronizing, but I do actually need that. <laughs> well, he does. He does uh, international stuff too. So I was actually would be surprised if you haven't heard. Not that I've heard of. By international, do you mean he casts the like? He commentates the what's it? The the Wembley game. No, he American no he introduces uh, boxing matches. That's all he does. Um, yeah, but I can imagine like internationally goes around does one event and then calls himself international. Or he goes to Canada and does something like that. No, no, it's it's. I mean, like he does like Irish 
boxers and stuff. It doesn't matter. It's just like whenever whenever they take place in America and it's like the I main event. I don't think the context has mattered. The, the joke is long gone. It's dead. Oh, okay. I didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> right All right. Well, <laughs> rip rip the joke, Too guys. Low. Yeah, rip the falls. Leave the joking to Vintage and Broke Tile. They're funnier than you. <laughs> <laughs> right. I wasn't even telling that you were telling the joke. I just didn't get yeah, the joke. I only get like three times in this entire show match. Like before in the middle and the end. Right. <sighs> Which by the way, there might not be an end interview if you guys keep on making these games so long, but we'll try to do what we can. <laughs> um Yeah, because I might have to get there'll I might be there, have to no, pull, there'll be but... Duttle's wife or there'll be Kittles there. You know. <laughs> wife also <laughs> Kittles. Kittles there. <laughs> Alright guys. Y'all have a good one. Um, overdue, had the child, they would have grown up gone to college going to StarCraft and we'll still be there. Four day long TBT. Red eyes. See the veins in them. That's where we'll be going. <laughs> Fighting over a single marine. I'm calling it now. Right. Alright, well gentlemen, y'all have a yeah, good luck in the next, next, next half of this show match. We will get things underway shortly, guys. Just give us one moment. Okay. Alright. Back with Broketail and Vintage. How are we doing, guys? Pretty good, my boys. Great. Tier one up. Cool. Um, Happy. I could see the fire in Honey Badger's eyes. He's about to bring it back. Right. So, uh, predictions for the rest of the half. For one. Um, <laughs> for one. <laughs> no, for, for two. Let's, let's, okay. Let's get it right. Let's get it right. All right. Uh, well, uh, I think I th we're. I, th I think the data is clear. <laughs> Oh, so you're predicting that Honey Badger is going to take one more map and still lose anyway? So that's uh, that's fair. You know, that, there's a, there's Jokes. potential for that. Jokes. There is potential funny. for that. Cool. Um, just waiting for Volticus to give us a thumbs up. We can get going. He is currently dancing on Skype, so I'm assuming he's ready. Uh, <laughs> you, you guys can't see it, but I can. Start now. Start now. Start now. Uh, did you say yes? Uh, sure. <laughs> Get... Okay. Just one more minute and we'll get this going. Get this going. And he's listening to some uh some in sync before he gets ready based on what his cam is doing. because uh, he's just he's just dancing it up and he's like one second guys and just sitting there dancing like to some music. I guess it's you know, maybe maybe a Avril Lavigne skater boy. It's like really getting them into in the right context. What do you think we listen to over here? I, I'm guessing Avril Lavigne Skater Boy is my not 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 no not you wrong, or but... like UK. I'm not. That's just just Voltigets. <laughs> if you if you had to pick five songs that you think would be popular in the UK, what would they be? Probably, oh, it's probably very similar to what's popular in the USA. Um, like we're talking like cult classics, like cult classics. Uh, I mean, like yeah. Sex Pistols would probably be up there somewhere. Um, just that you know, because the British rock and roll scene movement was so good. Um, something like Jimi Hendrix came from uh, America to go to the, just to go to the you know UK to to right. participate I'm in talking, that revolution. Right. So I'm talking like the songs that when you when you go into like like an O'Neill's, right, which is a branded pub by the way. <laughs> right, you go into O'Neill's. They've got like the live band playing or whatever. There's actually a place near where I live called Mr. Puzzles, and they have a live band. Okay, um, occasionally, like they have they occasionally play live music. Um, and the kind of there were like three songs that I can think of that when they come on, everybody just goes fucking mental. <laughs> One of them is Wonderwall, of course. Okay, yeah. Because, oh my God. You know, basic bitches over here. The other one is um, Mr. Brightside. Yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> by the Killers. Okay. That song is huge over here for some really? reason. Wait, Mr. I Brightside by the I Killers. I, mean, I like that song. I like yeah. That song. I thought you were talking about like like the electric electronic dance orchestra no, or whatever. By the Killers. By the Killers. The song. Yeah. That's huge over here. And the third one is Don't Look Back in Anger. Those three, that you, you can honestly get a whole room full of people over here singing if you play any of those three songs. Like, <laughs> regardless of where you are in the country. Cool. Um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cashing out of my audio here. Let's get transitioned into it. And ladies and gentlemen, let's have a good game. All right, let's do some introductions. All right. Uh, spawning in the top left hand corner, it is the orange Terran ready to make his comeback, Honey Badger. 
And in the bottom right, in the green, the Queen's chosen the knight in the shining armor. <laughs> Looking to take two more games in a row here. I'm pretty sure he's going to do it. It's Volkus. It's going to be called Servo after this game, if he, when he wins. <laughs> Servo of Terran. Honey Badger going for that double gas again. I wonder if it'll be that same Reaper build. Um. No, this looks like a, just a 1-1-1 one, one, one to me. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Okay. Yeah. Yep, seems so. This isn't the... the... <laughs> It's not a bad map for it, but it's not the, the greatest. There isn't much room at the front of the main to jump in and out of. There's that little bit at the back, but, you know, it's not ideal. There's not it's not like the huge amounts of space you're hoping for. Mm. Um, and Cyclones are just too good. Um, Volkus, though, is going for a gas first expand. They got but the he's SAV doing, couch. He, he's, he's building the... Uh, um, the, the CC in the main base, which is a bit cheeky. I kind of, I kind of understand why he's doing it, but I, I don't at the same time. Um, the, I guess the logic is you scout as Honey Badger, like, oh, he's on one base, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I don't know. You have to float it over. I feel like sometimes it's just worth it to build it on the low ground and just pray that you can hold whatever it is. Yeah, and he did um, build it pretty far away. He didn't like build it like right next to. Them. Yeah, well, I guess the logic is right. If the Reaper jumps up at the front, like to the right of the barracks, there's a chance that it still doesn't see it. But I mean, you could just come up the back and see it anyway, right? Um, I wonder if I wonder if there was a ramp of the natural on this map if he would have built on the low ground, or maybe he's got something else planned. I mean, it Who makes knows? sense. He he's like uh, he got the scout. Uh, he's capitalizing on it. Um, do you think Honey Badger? Is it possible what that he goes for a Banshee, or is it what always going to be a What the fuck is this build? He's building a fucking fusion core. What the fuck? <laughs> That's my boy. And he's building Hellions as well underneath this. This is going to be fucking Is it like awesome. a one base battle cruiser? I hope so. I really hope so. I mean, in that case, if it's a one base battle cruiser, I understand the Hellions, right? The logic no being, if you can get them, yeah, well, no gas, but also they just tear through Marines. Right. <laughs> so the only thing that Volt's gonna like, the only thing that would really like protect Volt from a one base battle cruiser that just warps straight into his base is a metric fuck ton of Marines. Uh, if you build some Hellions, in theory, you can try and get behind that. But he spots the Hellions with the Reaper of the Zone Argon. This is. You have to keep in mind this BC, like the Fusion Core's not even done yet, and the BC will take forever to build, and it is very expensive. But once it's done, it's instantly in the other person's base, potentially. Well, if you do that, you can't teleport it home. Yeah. Um, so there's probably at the same time, he feels sort of all in anyway. I mean, that's true, right? Like, I feel, yeah, I feel like one base battle group that you kind of fucked. <laughs> He's even got a Viking here for good measure. Like, this actually. What could... the fuck am I watching? This could end up okay. Like, in a weird sort of way. Honey Badger might pull. Well... I don't think like Bolt doesn't really understand what he's up against, but I think he just needs to just don't build Marauders. He's building a Marauder. Oh, he's mind uh, getting the fuck out of here. Oh. And Badger's getting that armory done for some Hellbats. No, a couple of them for the Hellbat attack. Badger's only now getting his orbital command. <laughs> I think Stim's gonna be done. That's like the saving grace here for, uh, for Vault, right? The state that yeah. Stim is done. Um, he just needs to stop building fucking Marauders, like, right now. And Honey Badger isn't actually teleporting this in, so he's buying more time here for Volticus. Oh, what is he doing? No, 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 no. I mean, a drop back at home would really suck here for, for Honey Badger, but I don't, I mean... I don't know, like, it's gonna hit right when that next... A uh, battle cruiser comes out. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, he doesn't leave anything at home here for Volkus to defend because he's still building Marauders. He still thinks this is a Hellbat attack. Oh, he's not even moving the medevacs across the map. Oh my god. As soon as he gets this. This is why you scan, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> to see stupid shit like this. Like, I'm looking at Volkus' vision. He, he, hasn't, he hasn't scanned or scouted since he didn't show a CV scout. So at this point, 
Oh, and Voldekus is supply blocked. Yeah, well, he's killed the, he's killed the depot, hasn't he? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he pull that CVs for us is uh, a battle cruiser, yeah, that'll do it. There's a second <laughs> battle cruiser that might escape later. Alright, GG. And, uh. Yeah, right as there's uh. No! Honey Badger! He teleported away his battle cruiser. Ah! <laughs> it doesn't matter, the game's over anyway. But he could have cleaned it up. Oh Good. man, Honey Badger just showcasing his overwhelming skill, even with a one base battle cruiser. All right, okay. he is able to decimate his opponent. I bet the cooldown on that first battle cruiser is finished. She could teleport home. It hasn't. It hasn't. Oh, hasn't? Man, that's such a long. Yeah, what well, it had. Can you imagine if it wasn't a long I mean, cooldown? Yeah. I guess, yeah. Oh my god, it'd be insane. Um. I feel like Volt's just trying to waste time now. <laughs> He's probably <laughs> so there's, bad. There's actually no way he wins this game. Yeah, go on, supply block him. That'll stop the battle cruiser that's already building. He could send these Hellions home. Yeah, he absolutely could. Uh, I don't know why he isn't. Because it's not like they do much damage to buildings. Right. Where, the fuck, where is this last STV? Both. Oh my god, there's actually an STV still alive in Vault's main base. It has 3 HP. <laughs> I don't think it matters though. No, I need to do why. I'm just saying it's quite funny that somehow one survived. Yeah. No, 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 lose the CC. I don't know. Nah, it's going for the depots. Because Honey Badger has it. I, un I understand the logic. Kill the depots. Um, he can't rebuild any STVs. And then maybe there's a chance. <laughs> I don't know where he's going with this all ball though. <laughs> so I guess uh Voldicus is gonna try. Which which makes sense. I'd like to see him leave his uh Hellions at home. I thought there's no reason not to leave them at home. <laughs> You're completely right. Um Yeah, Rust in PCC. Well, everything that Honey Badger has is all he's got. Not, not that this game could ever become close after this, but <laughs> you know, it's just an important thing to know. Wait, the factory we're gonna burn down. There's no SUVs to repair it. That'll burn down. No, eventually. no, Honey Badger, please. No please. way. Please, Honey Badger. I think Please, he's finally he's sending the aliens though. Oh, thank God. Alright. Oh my God. Don't throw this. Please. Factory's burnt down. These can't lift off. He has to sit back at home. He doesn't know where Volkers, the rest of Volkers' buildings are. He doesn't know that he's rebuilt a CT in the main. He doesn't know he's got an orbital mining in the upper right. Volkers! Aye, aye, aye! Okay. Okay, here's 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 what I think Honey Badger should do. Leave all the Hellions at home except for one. Use that one with its mobility to scout for all the other stuff, and use the power of the um, battle cruisers to kill it. I, I would not be surprised if um, Honey Badger tries to go for a draw here. He should be smart enough to realize. I mean, he'll probably see this and be like, "Ah, I got you. I've killed it, right?" How could it turn into a draw, though? I don't think um, it could... Because, because, because it's because it's mining. It could turn into a draw. Yeah, no, I know, but he doesn't know that. He thinks oh, that's the last CC. He I doesn't know be. that there's one up in the upper right, so he could think that there's a draw. But there isn't. Well, once right, he kills so... the CC and it doesn't get revealed, he'll know. Well, it'll take a good minute or so before it says it's being revealed. Right. Um, 
that. It'll take a while for the CC to die anyway. So, because he's only got the one BC there. Yeah, you're starting plus one of all things. Build a factory! Mine gas! Build a factory! Oh my god. No, I don't build I mean, I guess maybe more barracks if you get like a maze, a maze ball splits and kill the Hellions, maybe, right? Maybe you should just build like a shit ton of uh, missile turrets. I mean, he has one. Yeah, yeah. A Viking yeah. here is quite. This Viking is quite nice because it's the heavens can't shoot at it, and it's just a, you know free damage on the battle cruisers. Right? Can it? Can it like a Viking technically like get like infinite damage on a battle cruiser or something? Can they like? Can they type it? Uh, yeah. I wonder. I understand. I what like what Volkus is trying to, but the heavens on the ground is so hard. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that he was re rebuilding Marines behind this, I'd be very skeptical. Ah, oh, this Viking here is a huge deal. Actually, you can just pick away. What's the range on a Viking? It is nine range. On a battle cruiser, has six range. So in theory, yes, it could just kite forever, but you'd have to pay a lot of attention to it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this game is insane! <laughs> oh, and Volikus has finally surpassed Honey Badger in supply. He's trying to repair the CC. I almost thought this was just a mistake. Well, he's trying to delay the battlecruiser as long as possible. I guess that's true, yeah. I'm just worried because it costs money to repair stuff. Yeah. I guess, yeah. But the problem is with the Hellions, they can find it quite easily. Like, they'll just skirt around. They should be able to, be able to find it pretty easily. Um, I, I mean, so he's killed the CC. And maybe he thinks, okay, so we can't mine anything anymore. I'm just going to go back and defend my, my buildings, right? Maybe. Or he's just going to... I don't know. And maybe, uh, I mean, that's probably what he thinks. Ooh, and these Marines have Stim. Plus one. And Medivac support as well. Honey Badger is getting plus one air attack. That's smart, that's smart. Ooh, and now he knows, now he knows. Oh, ah! huge pick off there. That was completely for free. So does he turn these into uh, Hellbats? Uh, I would. That's a smart thing to do here. Although, actually, you could argue that um, turning them into Hellbats means you lose the kiting potential. So actually, Volt could kite the Hellbacks back for Oblivion. But I mean, the Sim City here as well, like... Uh, don't land the bike! Uh, he's pulling the SUVs. Gonna try and buy time. He needs to focus down those Battle Cruisers. The Bonky here gonna help out a lot. Actually gives those Marines extra range and a bit more survivability. He wants to be repairing it though. A lot of the SUVs have gone down. Oh my god. Oh, the hell! All oh, but one of the heavens gone down. What about because I think Bob's done it? GG! Oh. Bob to curse! Aye, aye, aye! Oh my god! <laughs> Badger, I swear to fucking god. That was it. Oh my god! Whew! What? What a game. Um. <laughs> so Punta says, uh, 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 Badger's so mad right now, I bet. Uh, he's, he's, he's actually, he's laughing about it. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 uh. I don't, I don't. How, how can how can you get mad at that game? I mean, yeah, it, oh, it, it looked God. like he had a, a massive advantage, but oh. Volticus was really smart and picked off those floating buildings first. Um, he tried to supply block them first, yes, but then like he got rid of the factory, got had it burning, got rid of the CC when Badger pulled it back in, and then once that barracks dropped, that I mean, you can't make more SCVs, you can't make more. So it's that that army's always got. I think, I think getting the CC was a big one because he was yep. supply blocked. Um, you kill you kill the CC. You don't build any more SCVs. Um, so even if even if you have the factory alive, even if you have the start the the barracks alive, I think Bolt just knew that it wasn't going to come down to killing all the buildings. Um, probably. Um, the big thing there 
is that you can't re you can't make any more units. So everything that he has is what he has. And Volk is like, you know what? I've got a CC. I can I have SCBs. I can build depots. I can make units. So anything I pick off, even if it's little bits of damage for like you know like a shot off on my marines, I can hold back for like half a damage on a hellion. That's good because you can't repair those hellions. You can't build any more. Anything you lose, any damage you take is honey badger is huge. It's game ending damage. Those two hellions, if they had, if you hadn't picked those off for free. Maybe it's a different game, different fight at the end there. You don't know. It's really, it's, all, you know, really well played by Volt because I thought he was wasting time, but he pulled it through. I just got, I just, sorry, I just had a stream alert come through. Let me, let me look. Uh, Get another look sub? At, yeah. I don't know. Honestly, my Streamlabs doesn't uh, seem to be working. It's a cheer 100 from Puntikill. Oh, Puntikill, thank you so much for the cheer, man. I appreciate it. It's probably my Streamlabs open when I'm casting. Probably be good. Oh, by the way, uh, Voltikus just said he needed a toilet break. But, you know, in America, they say, uh, you know, bathroom break. Yeah, thank you, Punta. Um, I also had a lot, of, a lot of follows coming in today. I'm not going to read them all out. Well, I say, is a lot of people in the U.S. say restroom, like, in terms of public, like, public bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, like, in public, like, in, in the bar or whatever. It's like, they have a restroom. Why yeah. is it called a restroom? You don't um, stand up and go, guys, guys, I really need a rest right now. Because so it's, it's a, right. so you take a break. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like, it, it, they just don't want, it, it's, it's a, a polite word. So they don't want to say like toilet because that's insinuating bathroom, like, like that you're peeing or pooping. It, or it offends our refined senses. You see, you see gentlemen and, and gentlewomen well, don't actually have anuses. We, uh, <laughs> yeah, we just go in there to sit well, down I mean, and, and honest, relax. Like, <laughs> it's a I quick, feel, I feel like, I feel like that, you know, maybe you, you, you know, if you're the, if you're the better country, then maybe your citizens would be a bit more mature. And wouldn't care that you just call it what it is. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's a toilet. You go there to to have a waz, take a shit. That's what you go there for. Why are you beating around the bush? Just call it what it is. You know? Uh, yeah. Got you there, motherfucker. You, 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 you British. All right, uh, so. Um, you'll never yeah. be able to appreciate the culture that is the. It's just a level above American culture. Hmm. It dominates hmm. the world. So is Volticus back is my quest. So uh Yeah, so we are going to be going into match point from here on out. Um to see uh, if if Honey Badger can come back from this uh three one deficit that he's in right now. Um to to represent America, proud and strong. Uh, maybe have some bald eagles fly in and, you know, work his mouse and keyboard for him while eating McDonald's and <laughs> shooting a gun in the air and uh, chugging a bottle of Jack Daniels whiskey. Um, <laughs> oh, my Jack Daniels is good shit, I would admit. Yeah. I, I, that's one, if anything, Fairly if nice. there's anything that we can say and agree on is that um, scotch is amazing and bourbon is also amazing. Uh, there's no there's no reason to, to, to hate right. on either whiskey, of those things. Whiskey is... The, the best type of whiskey and the best way to enjoy whiskey is to drink the whiskey you enjoy the way you enjoy it. That's that's all it is. It doesn't matter what you drink uh, or how you how you how you drink it. It's all good whiskey. And this uh, is why we're military allies. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like I, I personally actually prefer bourbon to scotch. I'm not that much of a scotch person. I, uh, I prefer I prefer bourbon. I think it's it, it's much nicer. It's it's a it's a mood maybe, day for me. I like them maybe both it's equally. Maybe I haven't had a good scotch yet. Who knows? Oh, so I spent a lot of last year living in Israel, and um, I was old well, enough. I was, to drink. Tattered, I was old wasn't it? Jesus. No, no, because 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 I was old enough to drink there, and now that I'm back in the states, I can't drink anymore. It, it hurts. It hurts a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I can't go visit the states because I can't drink yet. It feels bad, man. Like I could drink in any other country in the world, but not the United States. It feels bad, man. I feel like I feel like maybe I just haven't been uh, exposed to a good scotch yet. Like maybe I should try like a Glen Village Twelve or something, you know? Opposed to like Black Label. I mean, Black Label isn't bad. Like I don't dislike it. But, uh... I don't know. Anyway, game number five. It's coming down. My boy Volker is gonna close it out here, obviously. Yeah, he just gave um, me a shrug. I think that he wasn't actually ready, so I feel bad now. Um, but he he gave me thumbs up in the, the uh, game, so good, I figured that was good. that was it. But maybe I'm wondering if it's like, if I'm not ready now, when will I be ready? Like, kind of, <laughs> be like, why not? Let's go. Yeah. 
Was it the first good luck have fun? Oh no, Badger put one last game. Okay, sorry, I should probably yeah, transition. Yeah. Uh, and it's not casting. Right. Usually we just, usually we just usually we just shit talk. Like that's what's that's what's been going on here. Uh, no manners, only shit talk. Hang on. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <sighs> You put, I want to pay your, some of you might be wondering what GBSL stands for, obviously. And if anything, it's, it's more support for, uh, for my boy. <laughs> Focus can't spell apparently, Jesus Christ. Wranglers, the jeans, I've never heard of those. Is that a brand that you guys have that we don't? If you cheese me for match point, that's going to be pathetic. No, it's a viable strategy. It happens. You're on match point. You've got a game to spare. Like you'll still be on match point if you lose this game. Eh. Nah. Nah. Pot meat cattle. <laughs> yeah. Because the pot called the kettle black, right? You know, <laughs> pot meat kettle. No? Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. So, what in the world is happening in this game? Identical builds, it seems, right? Yep, appears so. Both going for macro openings. Voltic okay. is getting his factory up a bit faster. Yeah. Um, Mofi is going for an expand on this map because uh, this is actually a worse map for Reapers than Ascension. <laughs> because, because not only can you not jump into the uh, into the main base from behind or anything like that, you have to go up a ramp into the natural and the entrance is smaller anyway. So it's much yeah. easier to defend early aggression on this map. So you're just like, you know what, I'm going to take an expansion. Screw it. Why not? Makes sense, makes sense. Ah, something smells so good, by the way. I don't know what time it is for you guys right now, but it's like late food time, like late dinner time right now over here. Oh my god, something smells so good, I'm hungry. God damn it! Well, we can cheese this guy so I can go eat. Jesus. <laughs> Second uh, barracks here for a honey badger, that's interesting. Z two one, that's like a late like it can't be a two one one because that's a really late barracks from I mean, it is a two one one. There's two yeah. barracks from right, but, but there's no late. there's no add-ons, which is kind of strange. Yeah, and also like this is a really late barracks for that kind of push, so I'm just wondering where he's going with this. Like, okay, now he's getting like I was wondering if there's gonna be some sort of weird thing where like, he got an early third and then just like made some units for defense or I don't know, but yeah, it seems like it's gonna be two one one. The latest two one one on the planet. Unless you like he isn't going for a timing, he just wants to kinda of go for that kind of opening. Maybe it's a tank style to go with this. Like it feels okay. Yeah, he's getting a tank. So it feels okay if he gets a quicker expansion behind this. It's gonna be a banshee here for Volkus. I don't and there's a, there is an eBay here. Let's see if Honey Badger goes for blind turrets. I know like Honey Badger likes to go for faster upgrades. So I don't know, I mean, I've not actually been paying attention, but has he been building blind turrets? I don't think he has. I don't think so either, I'm not sure. This is a nice scan here from, from Volkus as well. It reveals that there is no real, like, protection units coming out, but it also kind of reveals that there's a little bit of a push, push potentially on the way. Honey um, Badger did get that early Viking out though, which... That's a good scan as well here from Honey Badger. That's the thing, sometimes when your opponent scans you, it prompts you to scan your opponent. <laughs> that's actually, like, really Additional what happens sometimes. So he sees the, uh... The cloak researching, so he's throwing down a turret. If I was Volkus right now, I'd cancel the Banshee. Oh, well, he can't be late to do that now, but cancel the cloak because you don't get anything done with it and just go to Raven. Um, because there is no way this Banshee has any real use for cloak, not when there's a, a Raven and turret at each base, but each base, you're not going to get the damage done you want to hope for it. So just like, you know, cut your losses. Nice fast third command center here, though, from, from Volkus. Yep, yep. Jeez, the tech labs have so many upgrades these days. 
Yeah, I do. <coughs> Especially the Starfoot one. The Starfoot tech lab is just full of... <laughs> it's actually bad. It's full of... Yeah, that's, sorry, that's what I was looking yeah. at. There's like an upgrade for every unit. <laughs> yeah. I think the only uh, upgrade for an air unit that isn't on the tech lab is the Yamato for the battle cruiser because that's from the fusion core. Right. Uh, and, uh, and the thing that gives them, them extra energy. Three SCBs isn't too bad, but because it would have died anyway, I feel like, like again, he could have skipped on the cloak. Um, it feels like a bit of a waste. You, know, you could have put that money into a faster tank, into your own Raven, into uh, a faster stim. Mm -hmm. But he has that second banshee here still, so I mean, maybe if the fight, like a fight, goes really long and there's somehow there isn't a, a raven there, this banshee could just like, be be the bit that changes the game. <clears throat> it feels like a good start for Honey Badger. It's just his third is pretty late. I like to see him get that he's... down. As... Oh wait, he's getting it down now. Okay, good, good, good. Um... He's got double eBay, but he's only just now starting plus one. Mm -hmm. Which uh, bearing in mind, Vault because he's now about to finish his eBay's up as well. One of the because like one of the things that's really been helping Honey Badger out in the past like macro games is is the upgraded bonuses he's had, and Volkus is on top of this game. Yeah, he's not letting him run away with it this time. He's like you know, what? I'm gonna get upgrades as well this time. Sorry, boy. His uh, Viking's in perfect position to catch this banshee. Oh my god, the luck of it. What do you? Mean? He set it up perfectly. No, no. If it had been one cycle, the, the Viking wouldn't have caught it. Like, give him one, like, patrol path later, he wouldn't have caught in. He wasn't actually paying attention. But he's also, him. yeah. Come on, badge. Alright, he still picks it off. Um, cool, it isn't too much damage. I know he will. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of trapped. <laughs> There's a double drop going into the main base, actually, but there is a tanker in the main and some marines with a cyclone. The third command center is a bit exposed, and there is a tank with this. So, yes, so be kind of careful. Uh, don't worry about those. Yeah. yeah, try and focus this command center. He won't get it. Yeah, he won't get it. Honestly, I mean, maybe Volt shoots it down for him, maybe. <laughs> pull, uh, pull an MMA. Well, then, yeah, if he pulled an MMA, he'd win, right? Kappa. Right, and then Honey Badger leaves. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, both taking their thirds at about the same time. Honey Badger taking kind of a strange third location. I yeah, I, 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 this is, this is, I don't like this. It, you, this is a really bad third. And the reason, there's a couple of reasons for this. One uh, is that if you send a drop here, you have that cliff to play around with, so you can jump up and down into the main, into, into the third, into the main, into the third, into the main, into the third. Mm -hmm. And also, it means your the path your army has to go to defend. So if your army's in the natural, and you have to defend your third, the path is so much longer. Um, it's a bit more open, so maybe you can kind of argue that it's less like susceptible to tanks, to, to tanks and chokes, but it's so much longer, it's much harder to react in time. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it means if you're in your, at your third, defending your third, and he runs up the natural, you've got to come all the way back as well. Um, and it means taking a fourth base is a bit harder as well, or spread you out more. With the third base that Volkans is taking, you can take that kind of lower ground fourth, um, on either side, kind of keep everything together, whereas Honey Badger will get spread out further around, which is not really ideal. Uh, one more about to finish up here for Volt. Okay, so they're going to be equal on upgrades. Um, Comment Shield is about to finish as well here. Oh, oh but the Badger is not making Volt Shield. Anymore. He's just making Marines now, he's learnt. Maybe somebody else messaged him too. <laughs> yeah, don't build Marauders. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened, to be honest. Um, I didn't see Volt just breaking down this that ramp, but uh, this drop's pretty smart. But the tank's in position to uh, defend it. What you do now is just another drop into the main base from behind. Because he's so, like, Honey Badger is so focused on, on dealing with the drop at the front. Oh, that's gonna suck. That, oh, sorry, the push at the front. That, um, I guess he'll, either, he'll either split his forces up, which makes this breakable for Volticus. I don't like this at all, but Honey Badger. Kind of a bit, I mean, he'll break it, but it's a bit of a meat grinder. Like, it felt a bit unnecessary. I'm like, look at the reinforcements here for, for Volticus. There's four tanks here. 
I don't know. He, uh, it wasn't the best engagement possible, but he had enough of a army advantage that, uh... Nah, you're right. I just, I just feel like, I just feel like if you haven't got a, a if you're not trying to take a base up there, or, you, you know, you don't need to break it, like he isn't, you aren't on a time limit, just don't risk it. And look how far, I mean, here's, here's what I'm saying, look how far out of position yeah. that, that uh, Honey Badger is right now. He's gonna run up, there are four tanks already seen stuff here. Yeah. The only way you can break even is to somehow take an amazing engagement. Yeah, this is such a bad fight not... here for Honey Badger. This, the Great four tanks are just destroying everything. You might even use a CC if you focus it if it forces it down, which he isn't. But... Yeah, and then Honey Badger was taking his fourth behind it. Well, so is Volkers as well. So, like, you know, it's now three bases versus three again. Um, in fact, effectively, it's actually two at the moment, it's two versus three because Honey Badger isn't mining off this third base yet. Um... Don't Terrence usually take that uh, that forward base as their for? Uh, what? The, the one. Kind of, I, can I ping? Turtles, would, can I ping? Is that a thing I can do? Would that, like, would the players do that? Well, right. well I, are we referees? Then they would, I think. I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, that's why I was asking right I think we're right. Um, uh, this is bad for any magic. Yeah. I think he's fucked. I'm not gonna lie. Like, he's just kind of trickling units up into two tanks here into a meat grinder. Yeah, GG. Volkers, 4-1. Don't hit it. you. God save the queen, boys. Yeah. Well played, well played. Alright, GG's. GG's, boys. <laughs> yeah, that battle cruiser game especially <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was God. pretty amazing. That, I can't. That game, <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God, games just. Totally oh, 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 oh. Well, what do I, what can I say about that? I guess. Hmm. As expected. God save our gracious queen. Long, Long live, live our, our noble, noble queen. queen. God save, save the, queen. the queen. Send her victorious. <laughs> okay. Happy and glorious. Long to reign <laughs> over us. God save the queen. <laughs> <sighs> Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> different. 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 Uh... Thank you. Shame it didn't work. Yep. Mm. Yeah, it's absolutely my pleasure, man. Whew, well that, uh, weight off my shoulders, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to face Honey Badger anymore and risk a big comeback, but not that there will be one, of course. For one. For one's happy. I'm happy about that. <laughs> we'll end it there. Hey man, I've always said it. I'm not the greatest player, but I do have the greatest team behind me. So while well, I'll give you, you're the better player. Sorry, man, I still have the better team. If you say so, if you say so, maybe next time when you get in, back into the CTL, we'll have to find out. <laughs> a different team league. We'll see. Uh...
I just realized I was muted the whole time. I was like complimenting you guys. Um, but what I was saying earlier when I was muted is that I was, I was just complimenting that battle cruiser build from Honey Badger. That is why I no, play Starcraft. Watch that. it. Yeah, you that. guys heard it. Uh, no, no, the no, stream stream didn't. Didn't. no, like we heard it through Discord. Right. Yeah, no, but I'm, but I'm telling, I'm telling the, the twenty, oh, the thirty people oh, in this, in the stream. Oh, they don't matter. They don't matter. <laughs> <We're> the <laughs> well, this is a man of the people, obviously. I, I am not right. a man of the people. Hence why I. He's a man well, of the I queen. Pray to my god, Queenie. <laughs> right on, guys. Make sure you, ran over us. you should you should rephrase that, by the way. I um, should. Yeah, I'm terrible with words. I'm terrible with words. I, Give me. Well, come I, back to I, me. I shall rephrase it. I am. I don't. I so don't bad think, I don't think you realize why it's wrong for the same reason that I think it's wrong. We'll have this discussion later. It's fine. But obviously, you know, we, we said going into it, who who right, you asked me, Dull. You said vintage. Who do you think is gonna win? And I said. I reckon my boy Volk is going to take it 4-1. So obviously, I'm basically Artosis, as what we've established here. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason I said that was actually because you wouldn't let me say 4-0. <laughs> no, 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 I said, I specifically said don't say 4-0, because that's just boring. If I said, oh, I'm going to 4-0 Honey Badger, yeah, really, mate, really. <clears throat> trying to make it interesting now. Not, yeah, uh, I was even serious though. It was actually a lot of fun. All like all of the games were really sick. So yeah, I'm yep. actually happy there was nothing boring. There was no oh, I just now stomp honey badger. Uh, well, GG. No, I feel like uh, <laughs> we're pretty evenly matched. Yeah, that was good fun. That was good fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Most fun I've had in a while. You know, yeah, doing absolutely. the whole casting, streaming like Dettles does. I don't get to play often, and this was a lot of fun. Cool. Thank you, Dados. Yeah, yeah th th thank you yeah. guys so much for letting me do this and inviting me to uh, moderate and be, you know, I, it was fun to be an observer. It's like, I guess in music, it's like playing guitar without having to sing. Like, you just get to, like, focus on the game and, like, look at the game and I don't really have to say anything at all. It's just... Yeah, just, it's a lot easier, isn't it? Just point, <laughs> yeah, point and click. the easiest role. All you do is just make shit happen and, hmm, 40 minutes late. Hmm, okay, you, you tried, Dados, you tried. Next <laughs> time, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that was more my fault, though, to be honest. Well, no, no. <laughs> yeah, first, yeah. Ten, the last ten minutes was your fault. <laughs> the, the, before that, the half an hour was Duttle's fault. Oh, let's really? open up StarCraft. Like oh, no, way. I opened up Brood War. How did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. Uh, that, that was, <laughs> come on, guys. We're talking about, like, a two-minute delay at most when I opened up Brood War. I was going to say, like, how, how does opening Brood War cause half an hour delay? Like... <laughs> well, okay. That it's just, it's an old game, it takes a while everything. Yeah, and also, whenever I, uh, I I was resizing Skype, forgetting how OBS handles, uh, uh, you know, just Windows in general, so, like, I can, if you guys take witness, bear witness here for a moment, if I move this, they move, and that's really stupid that it does it like that. I mean, it's fine, it makes sense, because that's just how it captures the window, but... I did that. I'm a scrub. Guys, it's... I know. I know. Blame Doubles. It's fine. Yeah. Scapegoat... Uh, blame Doubles in the chat. That'll do. Right. A scapegoat... Uh, the only the only uh, bigger scapegoat in StarCraft 2 community is probably Bob. Because, you know, like... Uh, who's Bob? Uh, from, yeah, who's Bob? I was thinking that exact like from, thing. From um, uh, Gauntlet SC2. Like, blame Bob. Come on, oh, somebody. right, yeah. There we go. Cyx, uh, Daunted's got me. So now I look like an arsehole. <laughs> not knowing who that is. No, no, I just didn't get it when he ca just called him Bob. If you right. said Bobby Awesome. I said Bobby awesome, awesome, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Bobby Awesome. Sorry. So many blame Bob. Yeah. Um, I mean, no, I think this, we're all missing the true one scapegoat here, though. When exactly. anything goes wrong. No. <laughs> what? I tried, I, spent, I tried. I just spent like an hour and a half like hyping you up being like, wow, just blame Vintage for everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah no, 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 I like that. Let's just, just like, you know, vintage. burning you know, all the bridges, you know, cutting off any loose ends. I just need to fuck over Vintage. Maybe he won't cast me again. He won't bring back the poor games of today. I'll get <laughs> Phoenix Tears or Lord of Terrence to do it. <laughs> oh my god.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, well, um, you guys, I, I think it's about time to... I, I know I need to wrap this up here in a minute, so uh, so while I was hoping for a little bit more... Um, I was hoping for more StarCraft, I'm happy that after having like two 30-minute games in there that it was... It ended when it I did. will say, I by the end, like game five, I was pretty tired. I don't know about you, Volt, but I don't yeah. sit down and play that much StarCraft anymore. Especially not at a competitive yeah. level against the same person, you know, like there is mental fatigue that happens in these games that I think a lot of people don't understand because watching it, you're like, why is he doing that? And it's like, because his brain isn't working anymore, you know? No, I'm like yeah. halfway through game four, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's yeah, the same game five. To get up to playing like hours at a time, you need to like build up to it. Like you right, really yeah. do have to like I mean, build that ass, concentration. Ass broke, I really don't play that much anymore. I mean... With the off season between all the leagues, like I've played more, but like you, Duddles, I just cast and stream, man. Right. Well, I, let's. Two, <laughs> as of the past two months, I haven't even been doing that. I think it's just been playing like Destiny Two, like a casual scrub. Sorry, uh, oh, sorry, everybody in StarCraft Two. Yeah. Um, but uh, is I there any plugs you're, you guys would like to? Though, right? I'm sorry. You're Protoss, though, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm playing random right now, but um, I do oh, main okay. Protoss. Yeah, well then you don't need practice. <laughs> I just need a uh, mothership core, and well, it depends if I'm playing Terran because I can just put a pylon right next to the front of your base and be like, "Say, hey, so you thought you had supply depots, huh? Let me press one button." Yeah, <laughs> you one don't you have click. you don't oh, have them yeah. anymore. Um, oh, and there's an oracle. You don't have workers either. Oh, GG, huh? Cool, hard race. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's that's every TVP. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Ever. <laughs> uh, but uh, so actually, there's a guy named Magi who's uh, the the NGT's captain. He I did yep. that to him, and he put a factory. He he like made it on the outside of my uh, main and floated into my main and just started pumping in uh, widow mines into my mineral line while I was pylon rushing him. So I was like, I would get mad if I wasn't being a complete piece of shit myself. You know, like we're we're tied <laughs> here and being complete assholes. So very well played. Um. Anyway, uh, plugs, guys. So I know we need... Um, oh, and Azzy asking if I've gotten Diamond yet. So last night, I think I hit Diamond MMR. I've lost games since, and I didn't get it, but it was ladder lock, so I didn't get my freaking promotion. Um, and that really sucks. And apparently there's a trick to get around it to where if you're ladder locked, you can leave your league and then like play your placement. And if you win your placement, then you get the, the new uh, rank. But then I wouldn't be able to compete in CTL, so I couldn't do that. Because um, then I had to play 70 games... Uh, before tomorrow at two o'clock p.m. And, uh, Seventy fucking games. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So um, I feel like you, you could probably just you, like you can work a rush though, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm not going down that road, guys. <laughs> Let's just like let's just say I don't want to play the seventy games and leave it there. Um, I I feel like if you just like said to them, hey, I've just left my league to get my promotion. Is that all right? It'd right. Probably still meant to play. I don't think they like. <laughs> You'd be surprised like, how touchy us admins are for CTL and, and particular. I, I don't. I I just wouldn't even want to venture down the road. Plus, I mean, like I'll be. You know, I I think I can get diamond next season. Uh, so it shouldn't be too long. Uh, before I'm diamond, so. actually, before because I mean, I need. I want to. I I've been trying to get diamond for two seasons now, so it's nice to nice to at least know that I I'm capable of doing it. Um. Anyway, no. Why are we talking about me, guys? You no, guys. No, no, no. It's your channel. It's your channel, man. We can talk yeah. about no, no, no. But no, I. But like... y'all are guests in my channel, and I want to talk about y'all. They. Yeah, I don't. Can I can't plug you. myself right now. They're already here. Um, of course, look, the past three hours has been about Honey Badger and I, and a bit about Vintage and Broke Tail. But now it's about you, Doodles, man. Like once you hit that diamond, it it just feels so good because your place just gets that much better. Yeah. The jump between platinum and the diamond is so great, and when you pass through the wall, it's so good. I I'm really excited for it. I think that's whenever because uh, I know platinum is is pretty much like the the lowest tier of like hey we're starting to take you seriously you know as a starcraft player it's like oh yeah. you just you probably just need to work on some mechanics or something and you're like maybe your build isn't quite uh as good as it needs to be and you'll be diamond so to go to that next level it feels pretty good uh to at least know that i especially as random because i didn't even do it as protoss it was my random that hit it uh, yeah and as adzi says you can get diamond and stop playing like you did that's probably exactly what's gonna happen um, yeah, but uh, guys, so I know Vintage Crispy's in the room. Uh, Honey Badger, Full to Kiss, uh, uh, Bro Broketail. Do you do do you stream a lot? No, I don't stream at all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about the other guys and what I know right now. I'm, I'll start with Vintage Crispy because yeah. he's probably the biggest uh, 
one of the biggest names in the room right now. Um, uh, so oh, he he okay. does he That's does. Whoa, whoa. ever said that. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. So so full to kiss as well. But no, I, I just know vintage from a streamer a streaming standpoint. He streams very frequently. Um, he does really. He does like the the UK Cup. I forget exactly what it's called. Uh, GBSL, right. British Star League. GBSL. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that and that's a lot of fun to check out, especially cause if you don't know a lot of the British uh, the players in the UK. Uh, I promise you, you're gonna recognize at least one or two names. Is it uh, Pro Scene, Lower League, Higher League? What is it? It's it's like the highest level StarCraft inside the UK. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the so all GMs, uh, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Like it's like most of like. 50% of the players were GMs, the rest were all very high masters, um, mm -hmm. so it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm looking, for, I'm actually looking for funds and sponsors to run a second season at the moment, it's going to be like a long season, uh, as opposed to like a once and done cup, but it's, it was a lot of fun to run, and I'm hoping to do more, but that's pretty much what I'm known for, yeah, is the, is the GBSL guy. Um, um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's cool, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, if I can get another one running, that will be the first to know. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I, I, and I, I would definitely, I, I, I get a kick out of it. So, um, so I mean, that's that's I kind of holding him on that tier just because I saw that that level of gameplay whenever I checked out his stream, and it was really neat. Um, Honey Badger, I'll go to you next. Um, I know that you were doing it's it's Badger Productions, I believe. Um, yeah, Honey Badger Productions. Uh, I do. I'm gonna start booting up StarCraft related content. I'm not limiting myself to StarCraft. I want to dabble in some uh, PUBG once that becomes available. But uh, you can check out my channel, twitch.tv slash Palanders992. Yeah, throw, throw it in chat. Hit... All right. Um, or you can uh, hit me up on Discord. I'm always in the Confed Discord. And uh, speaking of Confed, uh, Confed Live with the reboot of Nidus season coming up, that will get a lot more active. Um, and also, I'll be doing a lot of Nidus material on my own channel on uh, slash Palanders992. But... Uh, I'm looking for uh, a lot of co-casters, some other people to work with. So this is my first step in that direction. I enjoy casting, so we'll see how it goes. Right on. Yeah, looking forward to looking forward to checking that out, especially some of the Nidus stuff. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Uh, watch your perspective on on those games, some teams that you know a lot about, and hearing hearing uh, and that you've like played against, you know, worked with in the past, things like that. So I think I uh, couldn't think of a better person for the job. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch this. Thank you, guys. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, last but not least, uh, Volticus, uh, winner of the champion. Check out his stream as well. He also does a lot of casting for um, Proxy Tempest. Um, so why don't you go ahead and take us off about uh, all yeah, about so Volticus? Proxy Tempest, Wednesday nights EU seven uh, seventeen no seven p.m. CET is my baby. Uh, we do all. The, it's a big open tournament for any EU players or any in the world. It's hard talking actually when you're really tired. I really pushed it against you, Badger, but dude, I, yeah, those dude, are my I'm fucking beat. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, my English isn't great anyway, but uh, I can't. <laughs> you guys I'm... invented it. You're fucking <laughs> yeah, England. Well, what the yeah, fuck? Well, we go lazy. We go lazy, okay? But uh, I cast sometimes with vintage, sometimes with us. But the Wednesday nights are always my baby. I'm always there, casting some great games with people, uh, big names like A was also known as Hades. Got people like Penguin from Korea. Uh, Lilikinen, all sorts, you name it, they're there. But that's where I normally go. I don't really stream personally anymore. I don't really have the time. I'm working so many hours at work and it's crazy. But apart from that, that's just me. Like, you'll see me around. I represent Sonic Aftermath. Uh, I'm their CTL captain. I'm normally behind the scenes of a lot of things more than up front. Here's my face. Hello, I'm Volticus. Because I'm not that great with words. I'm funny at times, but not all the time. Yeah, well, uh, oh, I'm sorry, reacting to chat here. Lord of Terrans, yes. Yeah. Yep. Phoenix and I. Yep. I, I cast with those guys. Now, you must move off from me before I just come out with some slur. Hey, hey, Volt. Volt, rematch. Yeah. Rematch. Some, sometime when, soon. When are we doing this? When are we doing the McGregor Mayweather rematch? Um. You know what's sad is I'm Irish and I lost, so it kind of feels. Oh, the Mayweather's. As, <laughs> as usual, the British beat up the Irish. Then. So. I I know I know. Was, <laughs> pretty much stomped them. Oh, I was. I'd say it's a far from a stomping, but I don't know. A few weeks, three weeks, month, something like that. Uh, New Year, definitely New Year. Wow. New Year. Right. Not not 2017. 
So in 2018, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking for a round two. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, what 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 kind of date would y'all think? Would you think it would early year, mid year? Like, Definitely early, and not like not leave it too long, otherwise. Yeah, probably January. Only batch will get too good. Yeah, <laughs> can't have that happening now. Now, <laughs> now I got a mission, and we'll see some D1 I, orders, almost masters three, floating around. There'll be one of three situations arise. Either we'll both not play too much at all, we'll just sort of float around where we are now. Or Honey Badger will get really, really good. We'll get like Masters and I'm still here like, oh, I'm Diamond 2, hello. Or, or vice versa, or we both get Masters and it'll be great again. And it'll be even better matches. That's what right. I'm hoping for, number three. Well, guys, well, I, I, I'm sorry, can, can, go ahead. No, I uh, definitely, this has reinvigorated my wanting to play the 1v1 ladders, I will say. I kind of took a big break, so thank thank you, Voltigus, for this. You're very welcome. It, it's my pleasure. And do you know who we have to thank for this? Britannia. Rule <laughs> Britannia. Britannia <laughs> um, rules the waves. Okay, I think this is going a bit far Never now. shall be forrowed. Rule Britannia. <laughs> Britannia rules the waves. Britons. Never, ever will be forrowed. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, just, just, uh, just shout out uh, 29 Coast and, and Daunted uh, with, for the resubscribes today. Sorry to just hop in. Pumped a kill for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for supporting my stream. I promise I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, in the future. I've been two months, and um, I, I appreciate I appreciate all that support, guys. And sorry that I didn't call it out as it happened. Streamlabs, I'm still, I still have no idea how to do it. Um, but guys, is there, is there anything else you want to say? Because I'm about to throw a host up and get this going so I can go eat dinner with my family. Um... But is there anything else you guys wanted to add? No, I'm going to go there watch are, the VOD. And, and uh, thank you all five 